live coverage starting soon. Live coverage starting soon. It's time for Carothersville Tigers football. Sponsors for our broadcast include First State Bank and Trust, the City of Carothersville, Carmack Shell and Convenience Store, the Carothersville School District, the Pemiscot County Special School District, Green Pharmacy, the Pemiscot County Sheriff's Department, Hill Electric, District 2 County Commissioner Bon Meredith, Tri-State Motors, Cotton Pick and Clean, Citizens for Donnie Brown, the Pemiscot County Health Department, Daylight Donuts, Arcosa Marine, Focus Bank, Hubbard and Hulk Furniture, Baker Implement Company, and McDonald's. Audio sponsors include Faulkner Auto Sales, Prescription Drug Store, and the Bank of Missouri. And now, Carothersville Tiger Football. And welcome high school football fans for our first game of the season. As we bring you the Carothersville Tigers countdown to kickoff, Paul Glass with you once again as it is time for football action. It's a hot and muggy night here in the Veal but we're getting ready for some football. A lot of fans in the stands as they pre-sold tickets for this game. So you had to have a ticket, I think, by 3 o'clock this afternoon in order to attend this football game tonight. And so all the tickets were bought ahead of time. It's going to be a hot night, and we have a later-than-usual kickoff due to that. So we're going to kick things off tonight around 7.30. Hence the reason a later countdown to kickoff coming to you here. But again, a lot of fans here for both Tigers and for their opponents, Malden Green Waves. So we get ready for some uh, football action here from Hopkey Field. Countdown to kickoff. We'll roll on, but first, a few words from our sponsors. We'll be back after this. The Pemiscot County Career and Technology Center can provide the training you need for an entry-level position in today's advanced technical career fields. They'll help you get ahead with classes in automotive technology, ag building structures and construction trades, restaurant management, health occupations, industrial electronics, plus welding technology. All programs are backed by on-campus support and testing services. For information, call 359-2601 and get on the road to success with Pemiscot County Career and Technology Center. Call 359-2601. First State Bank and Trust is more than just products and services. We're there for you for your first paycheck, buying a home, opening a small business, starting a family, or planning to retire, and everything in between. We're the local bank you know and trust for all of your financial needs. Visit fsbtrust.com or stop by your local First State Bank and Trust to explore all of your financial options. Equal Housing Lender. Member FDIC. Green Pharmacy, your community health mart pharmacy in steel, is a sports booster and pleased to sponsor high school sports throughout Pemiscot County here on this Pollock station. Green Pharmacy has been a member of the community for over 40 years and appreciates your business. Good luck to all area teams from David Green and staff at Green Pharmacy. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. Call Green Pharmacy in steel at 695 4533 for more information. Health Mart, taking the time to listen and care. Welcome back to Tiger Football here on KCRV. Also streaming online, 1370 KCRV Facebook page and also on YouTube. KCRV live on YouTube as well. So multiple outlets catch the game on. Also, if you're looking for just the audio only, 
you can go to kcrbradio.com and click on the Classic Hits 105.1 KCRB FM Listen Live icon there, and it'll take you to the live stream. I think you can also search for the app in the Play Store, either the uh, Apple Play Store or the Google Play Store. Find an app there. It'll take you right to the stream as well. Appreciate you tuning in wherever it may be from. And we welcome the fans from Malden and the players, these Green Wave players tonight here at Hopke Field. Ryan McDaniel back alongside me on the camera once again. Couldn't do it without him, so we appreciate him helping out once again. Looking at this matchup tonight between Crothersville and Malden. Both storied programs having some down seasons as of late, but hopefully both teams on the up and up. Tigers come in after last season, 4-5 and five on the season. Green Wave 0-9 last year, so looking to make some huge improvements this year. Tigers last year forced 31 points a game, allowed 37. Malden, on the other hand, forced 12.6 and allowed 45. Last 10 matchups between these two teams, even 5-5 five and five between the two, but the Tigers riding a five-game winning streak as they've won the last five in a row after dropping the previous five in a row to the Malden Green Wave. So we'll see how it plays out tonight. The Crowsville Tigers marching band taking the field out here at Hopke Field as the sun is going down in the distance, and that's what they were hoping for is sunset. Things cool off a little bit on field level here. Temperature not quite so high out there on the field for these players. So they're going to be the ones out there exerting all that energy going back and forth and all that. So we'll go ahead and take another pregame break here. When we come back, we'll have more countdown to kickoff right after this. Delicious deals for delicious meals at McDonald's. Get exclusive deals on your McDonald's favorites in the McDonald's app with contactless mobile order and convenient drive through pickup. Join My McDonald's Rewards. Earn points for free food at McDonald's. Download the app today. Your local McDonald's is proud to be part of the community and is happy to support area youth. Everyone at your local McDonald's wishes all the area teams the best of luck. Cotton Pick and Clean is your industrial strength cleaning service, specializing in schools, hospitals, and industrial facilities in Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Arkansas. Their professional personnel can handle the big cleaning jobs in a professional manner because they are professionals. Call Thomas McAllister at 573-979-4184 or Jeff Wells at 573-820-4476 and solve those cleaning issues once and for all with Cotton Pick and Clean, a supporter of high school sports. As your District 2 Pemiscot County Commissioner, Bon Meredith is keenly aware of the importance of education, not just in the classroom, but on the athletic field as well. By participating in high school sports, our student athletes learn how to be fit, how to win, and how to practice the principles of good sportsmanship. Commissioner Bon Meredith is proud of these young people and the great job they're doing in representing their schools. Best wishes and good luck to all area teams from your District 2 Pemiscot County Commissioner, the Honorable Bon Meredith of Carothersville. Carothersville, Missouri, the home of the best in small town living, is also home to the Carothersville Tigers. And the city of Carothersville encourages you to attend all Tiger games this year. Follow the team all season long on Pollock Radio and on our Facebook Live video streams. Good luck, Tigers, from Mayor Sue Grantham, Council Members Johnny Hood, Luther Robinson, Leanne Fales, Paul Glass, J.J. Bullington, Don Grable, Jimmy Lyons, Jennifer Spence, City Clerk Takella Moten, and the employees of the city of Carothersville. And welcome back once again. Countdown to kickoff for you here on KCRV, streaming online, 1370 KCRV Facebook page and KCRV Live. The Marching Man's still in the field. Uh, I think they're trying to figure out exactly what order they want to do everything in, National Anthem, and bring the players on the field and have the opening prayer. We're going to continue on, and we will take a break if we need to in between to accommodate whatever they have going on. We do have some live sponsors this year as well as some video sponsors. Thank one of our live sponsors real quick, Wagner Auto Sales, one of our great broadcast sponsors, family owned and operated, located at 603 North Truman Boulevard in Crothersville. Before you buy, see Faulkner Auto Sales, 333-3800. Another one of our live sponsors, Prescription Drug Store at 410 Ward Avenue in Crothersville, independent pharmacy serving the area since 1967. Open Monday through Friday, 9 to 6, and Saturday, 9 to 1. Handy drive through window. They are online as well at prescription drugstore at rx.com for all your prescription and over the counter medications. That's Prescription Drug Store in Carothersville. 
do want to go through our uh, District 1 assignments as those are class assignments, Class 1 through 6 released today. Actually released all across the state. We usually take a look at District 1 because that's those teams a little closer to our area down here. A lot of changes this year. Tell you about those later on in the broadcast. We don't get it in the pregame. We'll get it in the halftime show. Our halftime show now being brought to you by First Aid Bank and Trust. So we'll have our First Aid Bank and Trust halftime show coming up at the halfway point in the ball game. We will run through the Tigers schedule this season. Tell you where we're going to be each week. Starting the season off here at home against Malden tonight. Next week, next Friday night, we will be on the road traveling all the way to Park Hills, Park Hills Central. About a two-hour and 45-minute drive. A little faster if you have a lead foot, a little slower if you're the other way. Then on uh, September 8th, we will be back here at Hopkins Field, take on the Donovan Dons. On the 15th of September, we'll be on the road at Kennett. On the 22nd of September, at New Madrid County Central. September 29th, we'll be at Dexter. So three games in a row. Then we're back home for three games on October 5th, a Thursday game. We will take on Charleston on the 13th of October, East Prairie. Ran out the regular season on the 20th of October against Haytai. We're going to pause for our national anthem. We'll be back with more right after this. As your District 149 state representative, Donnie Brown knows the value of high school sports activities and how sports help to shape our young people for the challenges of tomorrow. That's why Donnie Brown is pleased to be a broadcast sponsor of high school sports. Good luck and best wishes to all from your District 149 state representative, the Honorable Donnie Brown, serving the citizens of New Madrid, Pemiscot, and Mississippi counties. Paid for by Citizens for Donnie Brown, Angie Kellum's treasurer. High school sports can be a lot of fun and involved a lot of hard work by countless folks to field a team every week. Arcosa Marine Inc. knows this and that's why they take pride in calling attention to the team efforts of the players, coaches, and fans in Pemiscot County. Arcosa Marine encourages you to support your favorite team when possible by attending all games, both home and away. Good luck and best wishes for a successful season to all area schools from the team at Arcosa Marine Products in Carothersville. Hill Electric and HVAC has been serving Pemiscot and adjoining counties for many years and is proud to offer the complete line of train heating and air conditioning products for home and commercial use. Hill Electric and HVAC is also your dealer of Generac generators for those times when the power goes off. With the service and parts to keep everything running smoothly, it's Hill Electric and HVAC, a Carothersville Tiger booster. Good luck Tigers from Hill Electric and HVAC, 1501 Ward Avenue in Carothersville, 333-4364. At CarMax Shell and Convenience Store, convenience is more than just a catchy word. It's what they're all about. CarMax never closes and is always open with convenience items including hot foods, sandwiches, and grocery items, plus a complete stock of beverages. CarMax is just off the interstate and is your source for shell gas and diesel fuel. Never mind the time of day or night, because CarMax Shell and Convenience Store is always open and conveniently located right off I-55 at Exit 1. Look for the giant American flag. CarMax, one of your high school sports boosters. The Pemiscot County Sheriff's Department is a strong supporter of high school sports in Pemiscot County and wishes everyone a very successful season. Sheriff Tommy Greenwell knows that promoting high school sports, teamwork, and good citizenship helps in making our community safer and more enjoyable places to live, work, and raise a family. Good luck to all high school athletes throughout Pemiscot County from Sheriff Tommy Greenwell and the Pemiscot County Sheriff's Department. Welcome back once again to the Crothersville Tigers countdown to kickoff. Coming to you this week from Hopke Field here in Crothersville. We start the season at home. Thankful for that. It is hot. It is muggy out there on the field. 90 degrees here at start time. And here come the Crothersville Tigers taking the field. Can't hear it much over my mic, but these Tiger fans standing up and cheering for their Hometown team there. We are about five minutes and 45 seconds from kickoff. And you ready for this high school football season to officially start. Again, pushed back to a 7.30 start tonight due to the heat. 
Well, the temperature to drop just a little bit if it could. Temperature drop down on the field level, I think, more of a concern than the air level. So that's why we push them back. A lot of other games starting around 8 o'clock tonight. So those pregames just about getting started, and we're about five minutes away from our opening kickoff. We're going to thank our other live sponsor here in the pregame, Farmers, when it's time to arrange financing for new equipment, crop loan, or to purchase additional acreage, contact the Bank of Missouri on Highway 84 West in Crothersville for fast confidential service and loan approval. As a community bank centered on caring for their customers and their communities, Bank of Missouri offers complete banking services for checking, savings, accounts, loans of all types, and CDs that pay the highest rates around. Contact Bank of Missouri, a Crowsville Tiger Booster, member FDIC, equal housing lender. We're going to take our final pregame break, and when we come back, we'll have, or we'll be just about ready for our opening kickoff in this one between Crowsville Tigers and the Malden Green Wave coming up right after this. With school starting, most kids are due for vaccines prior to entering kindergarten, the 8th grade, and 12th grade. If you're unsure whether your child has received the necessary immunizations, call the Pemiscot County Health Center at 359-1656 for a records review. Children as young as age 6 months and up may be due immunizations, so if you're not sure about your child, check with the Pemiscot County Health Center on East Reed Street in Hayti. Flu vaccines will be available starting October 2nd. Welcome to the world of ITMs at Focus Bank. It's a drive up without the tube. Speak with live interactive tellers, all from the convenience of a traditional ATM machine. Cash checks to the penny, make deposits, and best of all, you get to select the denominations. Stop by and experience the convenience and friendly service of a live teller at our new ITM machines at Focus Bank. Focus Bank, delivering experience, service, and technology since 1931. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. If it matters to you, it matters to us here at Tri-State Motors in Blytheville, Arkansas. And if it's time to trade in or buy outright, it's time to see Tri-State, where you'll find an exceptional inventory of late model cars, pickups, and SUVs. We've got 20, 21, and 22 pre-owned models, most with plenty of factory warranty. If you have a job and can make a good down payment, you may qualify for bank financing. We have the selection, so come see us at Tri-State Motors, 1800 South Division in Blytheville. Remember, all roads lead to tri State Motors. Hey, it's fall, y'all. It's time for football, y'all. And great deals at Hubbard and Hoke Furniture. Fall into this gorgeous bed. Only $3.99. And when I'm watching sports, I like to relax in this reclining sofa. Only $7.49. And if you're looking for style and comfort, there's nothing better than this gorgeous blue sofa with accent pillows. Only $4.99. I'm ready for some football, y'all. And I'm ready to make some great deals at Hubbard and Hoke Furniture, Blyville, and Osceola. Welcome back once again to the Crowsville Tigers countdown to kickoff. We're about two minutes and 25 seconds now away from our opening kickoff in this one. And our captains for both teams out on the field for the opening coin flip here. For the Malden Green Wave, it'll be Camarius Farmer. Also out there, Zeon Huster, Hester that is, Clay Coleman, and Marcus Burton. Captains for the Green Waves. Captains for the Crowsville Tigers will be Jermonte Alexander, Abion Moden, Oscar Dominguez, and Kenyon Bogan out there for the coin flip. We do have some additional sponsors for our broadcast as well. Our Crowsville Tiger first down sponsor this season will be Focus Bank. Our Crowsville Tiger kickoff sponsor will be First State Bank and Trust, and they are also sponsoring our halftime show for us this year as well. Appreciate all of our sponsors, as we'll hear more from them throughout the broadcast. As we await the coin flip and the rules to be laid out for both teams out there. Good opportunity to tell you that tonight's game is not only a competitive contest between these two schools, but also an educational experience for the students involved. Because high school activities are about learning life values, your friends here at KCRV and the Missouri State High School Activities Association remind everyone to do their part in keeping our hometown sports a positive experience for everyone. When you attend your next game, do your part to help rekindle the spirit of citizenship by showing good sportsmanship. You'll be teaching a positive lesson and you'll be preserving a proud tradition in the state of Missouri. Coin goes in the air, comes down. Looks like the Tigers, I believe, have won the toss, signaling to the sideline. 
see what they, what Coach G wants to do. Tigers will start off defending the north end zone, and they will receive as they do win the opening coin flip. So the Tigers want the ball first. They will start it off on offense here. And we'll be underway momentarily. Learning all these players coming off of summer break and baseball season and basketball season. Now i got to get all the numbers right for football. So bear with me. I have to look up some of these players and figure out who's who out there. We'll talk about those changes in the district alignments this year. We'll do that probably at halftime. Looks like the officials are spreading out. They're ready to go. Football team is having a final huddle on the sidelines. Green Wave are heading out on the field. Well, got to figure out who's going where here. Both teams headed to opposite ends of the field. Now I'm going to switch things around. Green Wave will kick it off. Back to receive for the Tigers will be Sammy Bryant and Avion Moat. And I believe Jermonte Alexander back there as well, standing about the 11-yard line. Kicking it off for the Malden Green Wave will be Camarius Farmer. Farmer signaling for the Green Wave to make sure they're lined up properly. I believe we're waiting for our Official whistle to get things going. Farmer in motion now to kick it off. Boots it down the middle of the field. Backing up is Bryant. It will go in the end zone, and it will be a touchback. I don't think he actually touched it. I think he let it go, and so Tigers will take over. Focus bank first and ten. From the 20-yard line. Well, the Tigers will start off on offense here. So what they do on the first play of the ball game here. Actually, now they're going to back it up to the 25. I was thinking it needed to be there, but official marked it, so I was going to go with what he put down. First and 10 now from the 25-yard line. Three backs in the backfield. Alexander back there. Looks like Brian back there as well. Alexander's going to keep it himself. Take it around the right side with some blockers in front of him. Now spin move. He is hit on the far side. He does get positive yardage. Now it's close to the 30-yard line. Give him five on that carry. We'll bring up second down and about five for the Tigers. Spotted right at the 30-yard line. One back in the backfield. Going to send three to the left this time. It's hands it off to Bryant. Bryant right up the middle. He gets across the 30, out to around the 33. Sammy Bryant picking up three, so that will bring up third down. Third down and two. So they're going to spot it, it looks like, at the 34. So give them four yards on the carry. Third and a long one, we'll call it. Ryan Guest in at quarterback from the shotgun. Bryant in the backfield. Man goes in motion. That will be Alexander. Alexander on the jet sweep. Cuts it up the field. Trying to turn it. Gets across the 40. It's enough for the first down, and they will mark it at the 43. So he picks up nine on that carry. And that is a focus bank first down for the Tigers. That'll move the chains. And it'll be first and 10 from the 43-yard line. Tigers moving the ball well here. Going to split them up now. Two to the left, two to the right. For guess at quarterback. Ryan once again in the backfield. He'll take the handoff. Now a little 
Shuffle step to the side. He'll get to the 45, 46 maybe. They will mark it at the 45. Looks like his helmet came off, so he'll have to come out for a, at least one play. Bring up second and nine for the Tigers. So they mark it right at the 45-yard line. Now in the backfield is Maxwell Hunter for the Tigers. So Brian will check out for a play. You're going to stack them on each end of the line now, and it's going to be to Avion Moten this time. Cuts it back upfield. Bounces off a tackle. Now trying to break free and kick back the other way. He will. He's got one man to beat now. And he will be brought down. But in Malden territory, a huge gain for Abion Moten. As they will spot it down on the 20-yard line of the Green Wave. That's a 35-yard pickup for Abion Moten on the carry. That is a... Another focus bank first down for the Tigers. First and 10 from the Green Wave 20. Tigers will send two to the left, two to the right. Brian back in the ball game in the backfield. Guess from shotgun. Everyone comes set. Five seconds on the play clock. This time it'll go to Isbell. Isbell swinging it around the left side. Now gonna try to cut it up the field. He turns and he'll be pushed out around the 10. See where they mark it. They'll mark it right at the 10. And I think they're going to move the chains once again. Exactly 10 yards on the carry. So another focus bank first down. It'll be first and goal now. As Isbell takes it. That's Cam Isbell. This time a handoff in the backfield to Bryant. Bryant bouncing his way through, and he'll be in for the score, but we have a flag coming out behind the play. Let's see if that's against the Green Wave or against the Tigers, and I think we're going to have a holding that's going to bring it back. So all the flag come out behind the play. Get our official signal here. Holding against the Tigers. That will pull the touchdown back, negate the run. They will march it off to the 20-yard line. So first and goal now from the 20. As they back it up there. Brian in the backfield once again. Going in motion is Alexander. We're going to have another flag, illegal procedure against the Tigers. Two men in motion. Alexander was moving across, and Bryant took a step forward. So false start. That'll back it up another five. We'll be at the 25-yard line now, and it'll be first and goal from the 25. 8.55 left to go here in the first. Brian, once again in the backfield, three to the right this time. Guess going to roll out, and we have another flag coming out on the far side of the field this time. And we're going to have a false start or legal procedure against the Tigers. That will back it up another five. We'll be first and goal from the 30 now. Well, offense moving the ball very well, and now giving some of those yards back. So first and goal from the 30. As Alexander will take over as quarterback here. Guess will line up in the sole wide receiver slot to the left. Alexander will roll out to his right, looking downfield. Now we'll throw it downfield. Isabel is there, but it is knocked down by the green wave, and it will go incomplete. I think that is Quentin Kilgore getting the hand on it, knocking it down. So an incomplete pass will make it second and 30. 8.46 left to go here in the first quarter. Hot and muggy night here in the field. Second and goal from the 30-yard line. Alexander will stay in there at quarterback. Three to the right, one to the left this time. Bryant in the backfield. 
Alexander again rolling to his right. Now looking to run as he will have to tuck it. And will cut up field. And he will go all the way in for a touchdown. Looks like the Green Wave just gave up on that play for whatever reason as they just let him go by. And the Tigers get on the board. Touchdown, Tigers. 8.38 left to go here in the first quarter. Alexander, a 30-yard touchdown run there. Kicking the extra point will be Jermaine Carruthers. Snap is good. The kick is up. And it is good. 8.38 left to go on the first. The Tigers take a 7 to nothing lead over the Malden Green Wave here in the first game of the season from Hopke Field. We'll have our ensuing kickoff, our first, first state bank and trust ensuing kickoff when we come back right after this. Good luck to the Carothersville Tigers from Carothersville School District 18. The team is off to another great year and District 18 encourages everyone to cheer on and support the Tigers throughout the season. Good luck Tigers from Superintendent Brad Gurley, Board President Jimmy Lyons, Vice President Lee Bethune, Treasurer Chloe White, and Board Members Tom McCall, Donna Clark, Joe Cagle, Teresa Tidwell, and the faculty, employees, and students of Carothersville School District 18. And welcome back to Hopke Field as we get ready for the First State Bank and Trust kickoff. Coming up after the touchdown, the Tigers lead this one 7 to nothing. as Dermonte Alexander took it 30 yards to the house on a second and goal from the 30 after they got to the 10-yard line and then penalties kept pushing them back, kept pushing them back and he took it in from 30 yards out on what was looking to be a pass play, but got busted up, and he just tucked it and ran. So the Tigers' first lead in this ball game went in the coin flip and electing to receive to start things off. Pays off here. Let's see if they can hold Malden. Get it back, still leading at seven to nothing here. As Tigers are ready to kick it off. Malden taking their time coming back on the field. 8.38 left to go here in the first. Tigers get on the board first. It looks like Carruthers may be kicking things off here for the Tigers. Main Carruthers sets it on the tee. He backs up, waits for the whistle. We're ready to kick it off here. There's the whistle. Carruthers ready. He goes in motion. Kicks it off. Line drive kick will be caught around the 18-yard line by the green wave. That is Kilgore. He is hit immediately and wrapped up and brought down by the Tigers. That is Jared Hudgens, I believe, on the stop. Good stop there, but Malden will take over first and 10. From their own, looks like 34 yard line is where they will spot it. See what the Tiger defense can do here. Malden Green Wave, I have very little knowledge of these players, so. Take me a minute to figure out who quarterback is and the running backs and all that. 8.28 now left to go on the first. All spotted at the 34-yard line. First and 10. And it will be Farmer and Jonah Halliburton in the backfield for the green wave. They get a direct snap to the left side. It bobbled on the snap, and it's handed off to Halliburton. He's going to push his way through, keep pushing his way forward, and he is finally brought down in Tiger territory around the 49-yard line. So that is... That is number 12, Jonah Halliburton with a big gain. And ball spotted at the Tiger 49-yard line. So a pickup of 17 on the carry. And it's first and 10 for the Green Wave. 
They run it on the field, now running off the field. Ten seconds on the clock here for the Green Wave as they need another player out on the field, and they're going to have to take a timeout because they're not going to be able to get it done. So we will take a timeout as well. With 7.58 left to go on the first, Tigers lead it 7 to nothing. We'll be back right after this. Daylight Donuts is so much more than just delicious mouth-watering donuts. We also serve sausage rolls, Cajun pies, and a wide variety of other breakfast foods. Oh, that's not all. Daylight Donuts also has a full lunch menu. Try one of our juicy burgers, fresh pizza, barbecue, and much more. Dine in or swing through our drive through for easy and fast pickup. Daylight Donuts in Carothersville, a delightful choice for breakfast or lunch. Open Monday through Saturday from 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. Call ahead at 573-333-4399. Harvest more of what you grow with Case IH Axial Flow Combines. From header to spreader, Axial Flow's industry-leading innovations deliver cleaner grain from the field to the bend. Get the capacity you need with easy adjustment options to match your crop and field condition, all while minimizing potential grain loss. Add the automated efficiency of the optional AFS Harvest Command and take control of your harvest. Put your grain in the tank and your money in the bank with Axial Flow Combines. Available at Baker Implement with locations throughout southeast Missouri and northeast Arkansas. Welcome back once again to Opke Field as the Malden Green Wave having to burn a timeout as couldn't get the players out on the field in time. So we will start the clock here, 7.58, or excuse me, we will resume here, 7.58 on the clock as it has stopped. As the Green Wave come out of the huddle, first and 10 from the Tiger, 49-yard line. Farmer at quarterback, Halliburton once again in the backfield. They're going to stack them on the right side. Green Wave taking their time here. Now Farmer comes set. Seven seconds. A high snap. Gets in the backfield. Farmer drifting back, and it is thrown downfield and caught. That is caught by Marius White. He will take it down the sideline, pushed out of bounds near the Tiger 27-yard line. What should have been a huge loss on that play ends up being a big pickup for the Malden Green Wave. 22-yard completion from Farmer to that is a Marius White senior for the Alden Green Wave. Green Wave come up on the line. First and 10 from the Tiger 27. Halliburton in the backfield to the right of Farmer. Good snap here. Hands it off to Halliburton around the left side this time. He's going to try to swing it out. Stiff arm. Pushes off a of one defender. Now he's brought down on the far side of the field. Back near the line of scrimmage. No, or excuse me, a pickup of about four as he gets around the 23-yard line. Halliburton is a big old boy. He's hard to bring down out there. Four-yard pickup. We'll bring up second down and six from the 24. Green wave in the huddle. Tigers defense ready to go. Halliburton once again in the backfield. They will send three to the right. Quick snap in here, and they were not set. So I think the Malden Green wave taking another timeout. They are. And we'll take a timeout as well. 7.23 left to go on the first. We'll be back right after this. Harvest more of what you grow with Case IH Axial Flow Combines. From header to spreader, Axial Flow's industry-leading innovations deliver cleaner grain from the field to the bend. Get the capacity you need with easy adjustment options to match your crop and field condition, all while minimizing potential grain loss. Add the automated efficiency of the optional AFS Harvest Command and take control of your harvest. Put your grain in the tank and your money in the bank with Axial Flow combines available at baker implement with locations throughout southeast missouri and northeast arkansas the pemiscott county career and technology center can provide the training you need for an entry-level position in today's advanced technical career fields they'll help you get ahead with classes in automotive technology ag building structures and construction trades restaurant management health occupations industrial electronics plus welding technology all programs are backed by on-campus support and testing services for information call 359-2601 and get on the road to success with pemiscott county career and technology center call 359-2601 Welcome back to Hopke Field. 7.23 left to go in the first. Malden trying to answer a Tiger touchdown as Malden trails 7 to nothing. It'll be second and about six from the 23-yard line. 
of the Tigers. One man goes in motion. Farmer will now swing it out on the screen to Halliburton. He's hit in the backfield, brought down for a loss on the play of about two on that play. Well, we'll bring up third down. Third, about seven, it looks like. Ball back at the 25-yard line. Ten seconds on the play clock. Green Wave still in the huddle. They're going to have to hurry up once again, and they have not done that well the whole time. And they're going to have to take another timeout here, or they're going to get a delay of game. They will have to burn their final timeout here in the matter of about a minute of game time. 6.33 left to go here in the first, and Malden will take another timeout. We'll be back right after this. First Aid Bank and Trust is more than just products and services. We're there for you for your first paycheck, buying a home, opening a small business, starting a family, or planning to retire, and everything in between. We're the local bank you know and trust for all of your financial needs. Visit fsbtrust.com or stop by your local First State Bank and Trust to explore all of your financial options. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Welcome back to Tiger Football here from Hopke Field. Start the season off and saw an ad and heard an ad from First State Bank and Trust. They will sponsor our halftime show this season as well. So look forward to that. They're also our Crowsville Tiger kickoff sponsor. And we thank them and all of our other sponsors for making it possible to bring you Tiger football this season. Wish we didn't have to start things off on such a hot and humid night, but a lot of fans here to support. Third down and seven from the Tiger 25 for the Malden Green Wave. They have burned their final timeout here in the half. This time a keeper by Farmer. He's going to turn and go the other way, and he's going to be brought down after a short gain. He gets to the 21-yard line. Pick up a four on the keeper. We'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down and three. 21-yard line. See if Green Wave go for it or what they're going to do here. Ten seconds on the playcock again as they are going to cut this one close. They will not be able to get it off as we're going to have a delay of game or an illegal procedure, one of the two. And that will back it up five. Fourth down and about eight now. So it's going to push it back to the 26-yard line. Ball spotted at the 26. <clears throat> so fourth and long now. Farmer in there from shotgun. Halliburton to his right. Farmer snaps. Looking to throw. Now we'll fire across the middle, and it goes incomplete. That'll turn it over to the Tigers. Turnover on downs, and they will have it first and 10 from their own 26-yard line. That'll be a focus bank first down for the Tigers. Turnover on downs. See what the Tigers can do with this opportunity. First and 10 from their own 26 yard line. Moved the ball well on the first drive and had a few penalties pushing back, but big run from Jamonte Alexander for the touchdown. The handoff goes to Sammy Bryan out of the backfield. He's going to kick it around the right side. He's got a first down and then some. Runs into a platoon of Green Wave over there as he goes out of bounds. He's into Malden Green Wave territory. They will spot it at the Green Wave 45-yard line. So that is a pickup of about 29 for Mr. Bryant. 
Big gain there, moves the chains. That is a, another focus bank. First down for the Crowsville Tigers. Ryan come bursting out of the backfield on that one. Five twenty and counting here in the first quarter. And the official waving his hands, but we're going to have the playoff here. A.B. Moan's going to take it on jet sweep. He turns it up field. He'll be tripped. He gets forward for positive gain out to the 41-yard line. Pick up a four from Odin. The crew chief was signaling with the hands for some reason, but then the play got underway and just let it roll. Second down and about six from the Greenway 41. Four forty and counting here in the first. Ryan Guess from Shotgun. Stuart Hudgens in the backfield. Stacks the receivers on the end of the line. Alexander goes in motion. And the Tigers will have an illegal procedure here as Hudgens started moving the feet before Ball was snapped. That'll back it up five. So second and 11 from the 46-yard line. <clears throat> second and 11. Ball spotted at the Malden 46 or 29 left in the first. Ryan back in the ball game. This time Isabel goes in motion. But it will be handoff to Bryant out of the backfield. Takes a ride from the middle. Now Buster a few tackles. Has some running room in front of him. And a blocker. And he's got and he trips up around the 20. And he will be down around the 18-yard line. Maybe where they spot it. Maybe the 17. See where they put it down. It will be at the 18. Big gain. 28 yards on that. And or that carry. Brian had open field in front of him. I don't think he was tripped up. I think he just got tripped up in himself there. Brian once again in the backfield. Isabel goes in motion here. Brian will once again take the handoff. Now he's going to take it around the other side. Scrambling, he will get in for a Tiger touchdown. This time from the 11-yard line. Or excuse me, the 18-yard line. An 18-yard gain. And the touchdown for Sammy Bryant. Sammy, I believe, just a sophomore as well. Have a big high school career in front of him. 401 left to go here in the first. Tigers take a 13-0 lead. And Carruthers on to see if he can kick this one through. Snap is low, the kick is up, and it is good. And the Tigers lead this one 14 to nothing. 401 left to go on the first. We'll have the ensuing kickoff coming up right after this. Green Pharmacy, your community health mart pharmacy in steel, is a sports booster and pleased to sponsor high school sports throughout Pemiscot County here on this Pollock station. Green Pharmacy has been a member of the community for over 40 years and appreciates your business. Good luck to all area teams from David Green and staff at Green Pharmacy. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. Call Green Pharmacy. Pharmacy and Steel at 695-4533 for more information. Health Mart, taking the time to listen and care. Delicious deals for delicious meals at McDonald's. Get exclusive deals on your McDonald's favorites in the McDonald's app with contactless mobile order and convenient drive through pickup. Join my McDonald's rewards. Earn points for free food at McDonald's. Download the app today. Your local McDonald's is proud to be part of the community and is happy to support area youth. Everyone at your local McDonald's wishes all the area teams the best of luck. Welcome back to Hockey Field. Tigers take a 14-0 lead now. 4-0-1 left to go in the first. And they get ready to kick it off. Another first state bank and trust kickoff. Love to hear that quite a few times this year. It means the Tigers scored a touchdown right beforehand. Let's thank one of our live sponsors while we're waiting on the Green Wave to come out on the field. Prescription Drug Store at 410 Ward Avenue in Crothersville. Independent pharmacy serving the area since 1967. Open Monday through Friday, 9 to 6, Saturday, 9 to 1. 
handy drive through window. They are online at Prescription Drug Store at rx.com. For all your prescription and over-the-counter medications, Prescription Drug Store, 410 Ward Avenue in Carruthersville. Alexander with a 30-yard touchdown run for the Tigers. Sammy Bryant with an 18-yard touchdown run for the Tigers. And they lead this one 14 to nothing here. Right at 8 o'clock here at Hopke Field. Had a 7.30 start this evening due to the excessive heat. Other teams just now getting underway with their opening kickoff for their football games. Talk about some of those games as we move throughout the broadcast. No score updates just yet. Those ball games. I know Portageville starting at 8 o'clock. I think Kennedy and Hayti starting at 8 o'clock. Tigers set to kick it off. Carruthers. End over end kick this time. Caught at the 13 yard line. Bring it up the left side. Tries to kick it out. He's tripped up inside the 20. A good open field tackle there by Jackson Hunter. Got there, got the feet out from under him. Because that was Sonny Harris on the return. And I said inside the 20, inside the 30. It's ball be spot around the 28-yard line. That's where the Green Wave will have it. First and 10. Far side of the football field as we look at it here from the press box. On the road next week, traveling to Park Hills. We'll take on the Rebels of Park Hills Central. Have to pack a lunch for that trip. Almost three hours the drive for that one. I guess that varies depending on how heavy your foot is. First and ten for the Greenway from their own 28. 15 seconds on the play clock as they come out of the huddle. A little better on the clock efficiency there. They've already burned three timeouts here in the first quarter. Now not coming set. Going to have to hurry up and snap this one. And the snap goes wide. Farmer will have to go back and pick it up around the 10-yard line. He is rolling out. Tries to dump it off short, and it's incomplete. Got that one away. And a luckily not a huge loss on that one for the Green Wave. Again, the Green Wave have struggled to manage the play clock efficiently. Efficiently, that is. Burned three timeouts already to avoid the delay of game. Ten seconds on the play clock now as they're still in the huddle. Five seconds now as they're still looking to get set. One second and just getting it off and we're going to have illegal procedure. As one of the players not set due to the time running out and having to rush the snap. So that'll back it up five. Second and 15 now from the 23-yard line. Even though it's hot and muggy, a lot of Tiger fans here in the stands, a lot of Green Wave fans here in the stands supporting their teams. This time the Green Wave are ready. Farmer back to pass, but he is hit by Oscar Dominguez. Immediately, I believe Carruthers back there to put some pressure on him, and Dominguez there to make the sack. Good penetration there by the Tiger defense. Big loss on the play. Backs it up to the 19-yard line, a loss of four, so that'll bring up third down and 19 now for the Malden Green Wave. 3.20 to go here in the first. 15 seconds on the play clock as Green Wave come out of the huddle. Right, now six seconds on the play clock, still not set. Finally, everybody's set and having a rush to get it off here. Halliburton with the handoff. He is hit immediately as, again, the Tigers. Good penetration in the backfield. That is Kenyon Bogan in there very quickly in the backfield. Another loss on the play as that backs it up to the 15-yard line. Have to get to the 38-yard line for the first down. So fourth and 23. Looks like the Green Wave will punt it away here. Back to receive Jamonte Alexander and Abion Moten for the Tigers. 
And again, the green wave. Rushing to get on the line. Five seconds on the play clock here. Now two. Now one. Now we're going to have a delay of game, I believe, as they finally throw the flag. I was waiting on it. It was on zero for a while, but another delay of game. That will back it up five more. So now fourth and 28. That will back it up to what should be around the 11-yard line. Looks like they had spotted around the 16-yard line before. As they back it up five more yards. That will spot it at the 10, actually. They are going to spot it on the 10-yard line. So about fourth and 28 now from the their own 10-yard line. And offsides now on the green wave. Is, that'll back it up another five. Now we'll put it away from their own five-yard line. So that was Marius White lunging across the line before the ball was snapped. Alexander and Moten standing at the 35-yard line of the Tigers. Good snap. They will punt it away. And it will be Moten receiving it. He will bring it across the center of the field. Now with some blockers in front of him. And looking for some room to run here. He will take it up the sideline, and he will be pushed out of bounds near the Green Wave six-yard line. There was a huge block out there by the Tigers. I didn't see who did that, but ball spotted at the six-yard line. That's where the Tigers will have a focus bank first down from the Green Wave six-yard line. 151 left to go here in the first. And Moten coming up, limping just a little bit, maybe a cramp or maybe something out there. And Coach G coming out on the field to get him off the field. So Moten will come off. They will tend to him on the sideline. There's the whistle. Play clock starts, and the Tigers will come set on the line. First and goal from the six-yard line. 151 to go in the first. Guess from shotgun. And he's going to pitch it to Alexander. Alexander's going to cut it up the field, and he will get in for the score, but a flag coming out behind the play. Coming out behind the play. I'm sure that's going to be against the Tigers. We'll see what the official call is. Holding against the Tigers. So that'll pull it back. See where they march it off. They will spot it at the Greenway 15 yard line. So it will be first and goal now from the Greenway 15. One forty-six now to go in the first. Yes, from shotgun. This time a little screen out to Alexander, a little sidestep. Now he takes it up the field, a stiff arm, and he's still on his feet. A spin move, still on his feet, and he's going to get in for the score. And now a flag coming out behind the play. This is coming out after. We're going to have unsportsmanlike conduct, I believe, on the Tigers. Coach G out on the field. I think he was wanting an explanation maybe on that one, but they're going to march it back. Now it's going to be spotted around the 20-yard line. So two touchdowns pulled back consecutively there. They 
They will spot the ball at the 20-yard line. Still remains first down, first and goal from the 20. Now they're going to march it back even farther, it looks like, to the 25-yard line. Now the crew chief I'm going to go over and explain things to Coach G on the far side about what's going on there. And I believe Tiger's going to take a timeout here. And they will. There's the signal. 136 left to go in the first. Tigers with a timeout. We will take one as well and be back with more right after this. Cotton Pick and Clean is your industrial strength cleaning service, specializing in schools, hospitals, and industrial facilities in Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Arkansas. Their professional personnel can handle the big cleaning jobs in a professional manner because they are professionals. Call Thomas McAllister at 573-979-4184 or Jeff Wells at 573-820-4476 and solve those cleaning issues once and for all with Cotton Pick and Clean, a supporter of high school sports. As your District 2 Pemiscot County Commissioner, Bon Meredith is keenly aware of the importance of education, not just in the classroom, but on the athletic field as well. By participating in high school sports, our student athletes learn how to be fit, how to win, and how to practice the principles of good sportsmanship. Commissioner Bon Meredith is proud of these young people and the great job they're doing in representing their schools. Best wishes and good luck to all area teams from your District 2 Pemiscot County Commissioner, the Honorable Bon Meredith of Carothersville. Welcome back to Hopke Field. 136 left to go here in the first. Tigers with a 14-0 lead. They have first and goal from the Green Wave 25-yard line after an unsportsmanlike conduct. Brings the touchdown back. Hand off to Bryant. Big hole to get through. And as he bobs his weave through the defense, he's got wide open spaces in front of him, and he will get in for the score. Three consecutive plays, three touchdowns, two of them pulled back. This is when we'll stand. No flags on this play. 25-yard touchdown run for Sammy Bryant. And it will be Carruthers once again on the field. Kick it away. For the extra point. He has been good so far. Let's see what he can do here. And they're going to do a little quarterback sneak here. Or not a quarterback sneak, a little uh, trick play. I don't know if the snap was bobbled or if that was designed, but it is no good. So 128 left to go on the first. Crossville Tigers will have a first state bank and trust ensuing kickoff after the touchdown when we come back as they lead it 20 to nothing. Back with more after this. Carruthersville, Missouri, the home of the best in small town living, is also home to the Carruthersville Tigers. And the city of Carruthersville encourages you to attend all Tiger games this year. Follow the team all season long on Pollock Radio and on our Facebook Live video streams. Good luck, Tigers, from Mayor Sue Grantham, Council Members Johnny Hood, Luther Robinson, Leanne Fales, Paul Glass, J.J. Bullington, Don Grable, Jimmy Lyons, Jen for Spence, City Clerk Tekela Moten, and the employees of the City of Carruthersville. As your District 149 State Representative, Donnie Brown knows the value of high school sports activities and how sports help to shape our young people for the challenges of tomorrow. That's why Donnie Brown is pleased to be a broadcast sponsor of high school sports. Good luck and best wishes to all from your District 149 State Representative, the Honorable Donnie Brown, serving the citizens of New Madrid, Pemiscot, and Mississippi counties. Paid for by Citizens for Donnie Brown, Angie Kellum's treasurer. As the Tigers make their way back out on the field, we'll thank one of our live sponsors, Fogner Auto Sales. Fogner Auto Sales, one of our great broadcast sponsors, family-owned and operated, located at 603 North Truman Boulevard in Carruthersville. Before you buy, see Fogner Auto Sales, 333-3800. Tigers set for a First State Bank & Trust kickoff here. First State Bank & Trust are our kickoff sponsor throughout the season, as well as our halftime show sponsor. Others back to kick it off. He goes in motion. Here's the kick, end over end, down the middle of the field this time. Caught and bobbled, but actually turned around at the five-yard line. Going to try to bring it around the uh, left side this time. He's hit, bounces outside, and goes out of bounds over on the far side, 23-yard line. That is Sonny Harris once again on the return. 
nice return there. Is he actually didn't actually get it and stop the momentum until he got to about the five yard line, had to reverse course and go the other way. First and ten for the Green Wave. From the twenty three yard line. One eighteen left to go here in the first. Green Wave have had some explosive plays and moved the ball well at times, but have not managed the play clock very well. A few delay of games, having to burn some timeouts. It kills your momentum when you have to take a timeout you don't want to. Farmer now will take it up the middle on the keeper. He is brought down around the 25-yard line. He was hit hard at the end of that play. Built up by his teammates there. Looks like he is okay as he gives a signal. They're going to spot it at the 26, so pick up of three on the play. Second down and seven. 50 seconds to go here in the first now. Player coming on late here. That is Chase Kirby. Seven seconds on the clock. And... Malden still in the huddle. They're either going to take a delay a game or have to burn their last time out here. And they're just going to have a delay of game is what they're going to have. No timeout taken. So that will bump it back five. Second down and about 12. All back at the 21-yard line. Clock stops at 29 seconds. Chase Kirby in at quarterback now. And a low snap, bobbles it, now trying to get rid of it, and it'll be an incomplete pass. Kirby once again just getting rid of the ball to keep from the loss happening. Bring up third down and 12 now. Chase Kirby will come back out of the ball game now as Farmer checked out for a play or two. Now Kirby heading back out on the field. Looks like he came over to get the play. Now he's running it back out there. 15 seconds on the play clock as he hits the huddle. 10 seconds they come out of the huddle. Let's see if they can get set and get this play off before the play clock hits zero. Set, snap, one second on the clock. Kirby back to pass. Under some pressure, and it's incomplete across the middle. Had to rush the throw a little bit as he had a defender in his face. That'll bring up fourth down and 12 now from the 21. 23.7 seconds on the clock here in the first. Back to receive the punt will be Jamonte Alexander. He's back around the 47-yard line for the Tigers. On to punt it away once again is Dientes Dobbins. Five seconds on the play clock. There's the snap. The punt is away. A good high punt. Caught right at the 50 by Alexander. Brings it up the left side of the field. And a big block by the Tigers. And Alexander still on his feet. He's going to take it all the way in for a touchdown. One well, of the Greenway's players shooken up on the play. No flags on the play. Alexander with a 50-yard. That's, That's a 50-yard punt return for a touchdown. And So the Tigers, another touchdown, 26 to nothing. The lead now is Alexander with the 50-yard punt return for a touchdown. Tigers having to rush a player on the field to get the kickoff here. Carruthers going to try it again. This kick is up, and it is good. 
Brothers adds it on there. 27 to nothing the lead. 7.8 seconds left on the clock. We will be back with the ensuing kickoff right after this. High school sports can be a lot of fun and involved a lot of hard work by countless folks to feel the team every week. Arcosa Marine Inc. knows this, and that's why they take pride in calling attention to the team efforts of the players, coaches, and fans in Pima Scott County. Arcosa Marine encourages you to support your favorite team when possible by attending all games, both home and away. Good luck and best wishes for a successful season to all area schools from the team at Arcosa Marine Products in Carothersville. Hill Electric and HVAC has been serving Pemiscot and adjoining counties for many years and is proud to offer the complete line of train heating and air conditioning products for home and commercial use. Hill Electric and HVAC is also your dealer of Generac generators for those times when the power goes off with the service and parts to keep everything running smoothly. It's Hill Electric and HVAC, a Carruthersville Tiger booster. Good luck, Tigers, from Hill Electric and HVAC, 1501 Ward Avenue in Carruthersville, 333-4364. Welcome back to Hopkins Field. 7.8 seconds left in the first as we will have another first State Bank and Trust kickoff for the Crowsville Tigers as they lead this one 27 to nothing. Crowsville will kick it off for the Tigers once again. Brothers gets it away. Caught this time around the 16-yard line. Return to the 40, still on his feet now, crosses midfield and goes out of bounds in Tiger territory on the far side of the field. Say so he stepped out around the Tiger 49-yard line. That was Quentin Kilgore with the return. That'll be our final play here in the first quarter. We'll go to the start of the second quarter with the Tigers out front, 27 to nothing, and we'll be back with the start of that. Right after this. At CarMax Shell and Convenience Store, convenience is more than just a catchy word. It's what they're all about. CarMax never closes and is always open with convenience items including hot foods, sandwiches, and grocery items, plus a complete stock of beverages. CarMax is just off the interstate and is your source for shell gas and diesel fuel. Never mind the time of day or night, because CarMax Shell and Convenience Store is always open and conveniently located right off I-55 at Exit 1. Look for the giant American flag. Carmack, one of your high school sports boosters. The Pemiscot County Sheriff's Department is a strong supporter of high school sports in Pemiscot County and wishes everyone a very successful season. Sheriff Tommy Greenwell knows that promoting high school sports, teamwork, and good citizenship helps in making our community safer and more enjoyable places to live, work, and raise a family. Good luck to all high school athletes throughout Pemiscot County from Sheriff Tommy Greenwell and the Pemiscot County Sheriff's Department. With school starting, most kids are due for vaccines prior to entering kindergarten, the eighth grade, and 12th grade. If you're unsure whether your child has received the necessary immunizations, call the Pemiscot County Health Center at 359-1656 for a records review. Children as young as age six months and up may be due immunizations, so if you're not sure about your child, check with the Pemiscot County Health Center on East Reed Street in Hayti. Flu vaccines will be available starting October 2nd. Welcome back to Hobbiki Field. As we get ready to start the second quarter, Tigers out front 27 to nothing in uh, this one. See if we have some score updates for you as both teams having a water break on the sidelines. In between, East Prairie leading Charleston 14 to nothing. First quarter there. Kennett leading Hayti 6 to nothing. Portisville leading Savannah. That game played out at, I believe, Ozark, Missouri, out in southwest Missouri. 12 to nothing. Portisville over Savannah. Those are the only scores that we have for you so far. We will update you as we go throughout the night. First and 10 for the Green Wave from the Tigers' 49 yard line as we start the second quarter here. Tigers out front, 27 to nothing. Farmer swings it out to Halliburton. Halliburton hit in the backfield, and that will be a loss on the play. So he was wrapped up and brought down. They will spot it 
at the Malden 47-yard line. So that is a loss of three on the play. Bring up second down and 13 for the Green Wave. You have a player on the sidelines, I believe, that has maybe gotten too hot. They're going to have some players take him to the sidelines for the Green Wave. Farmer back to pass, now rushed in the backfield and goes incomplete across the middle. Again, prayers for these players and spectators and everyone in this heat. Would be much appreciated. Third down and 13 after the incomplete pass for the Green Wave from their own 48 yard line. 10 seconds on the play clock as they come out of the huddle. Now three seconds, two seconds. Farmer snaps it away. A little screen pass out to the left side this time to Harris. Harris will take it out of bounds near the 48. We'll bring up fourth down. That was a pickup of about, say, nine on that completion. That was Harris with the reception. Seen him on special teams. First time he's touched the ball on offense. We'll bring up fourth and about four. Looks like maybe five. I'll well, we'll call it four. Fourth and four from the Tiger 43-yard line. High snap for Farmer. He's being chased in the backfield now by defenders. Throws it out there, and it is incomplete. That'll turn it over on downs to the Tigers. 10.54 left to go here in the first half. High snap. Farmer went after it. Tigers gave chase. Wasn't much you could do then. Tigers will have it on their own 43-yard line for a Focus Bank first down. Focus Bank, our first down sponsor for the 2023 season. Now they're going to spot the 42-yard line, so correction on the spot. Thanks to all of our sponsors this season and the past seasons. Appreciate you supporting Tiger football. Guess the quarterback. He's going to hand it off to Bryant. Bryant's going to take it right up the middle. Now kicks it out to the outside. Bobbing and weaving through defenders, still on his feet as he hops the defender. Now finally brought down at the Green Wave, 36-yard line. What a run by Sammy Bryant. He spun his way through, hopped, shifted, sidestepped, did just about everything on that play. Gets out to the 36-yard line. Big pickup there. A 22. We'll give him 22 on the carry. That does move the chains. It's another focus bank first down for the Tigers. Another big run for Sammy Bryant. He's had quite a few of them in this ball game. Hudgens runs on the field now. Seven seconds on the play clock. Guess from shotgun. Going to stack them on either end of the line. Hudgens in the backfield. Pitches it to Moten. Moten going to swing it around the left side. Now cuts outside. Room to run. Takes it to the outside. Now cutting it back across, and he'll be brought down inside the 15. It's like down around the 13-yard line. That's a 23-yard pickup for Abion Moten. And that is a, another focus bank first down. So that moves the chains. Approaching 10 minutes to go here in the first half. Ball on the 13-yard line for the Tigers. They'll have it first and 10. Guess going to send three to the right, one to the left. He will roll out to pass, and it will be a short pass to Alexander. He is hit, but throws the defender off, and they're going to call forward progress stop there as the whistles blow. 
It's going to be a loss of about three on the play. As he was pushed back on the play. So second and about 13, maybe a long 13 for the Tigers. Ten seconds on the play clock as they're looking to the sideline. And we're going to have... Timeout taken, I think, by the official. I think we had a player that was signaling some kind of issue over there, so the official calling the timeout. Get a, getting a substitution off the sideline. Ryan fumbles on the handoff, but picks it back up, lunges forward, gets back maybe to the line of scrimmage there. No gain on that play. As the handoff was bobbled just slightly, and then Brian had it stripped out of his hand. So no gain on that play. We'll bring up third down and 13. Yes, back in there at shotgun. Maxwell Hunter into the backfield for the Tigers. And it's going to be a quick out to Avion Moten. He's going to turn up field and take it in for another Carothersville Tiger touchdown. It's time on the little quick wide receiver screen. A little wide receiver screen there from 13 yards out. Brothers on to kick this one away. Now Thompson going to pick it up and try to run it. And this play will be busted. So no extra point on this one as the two-point conversion is no good. Not sure if the snap was bad or what, but nothing on this one. 8.08 left to go here in the first half. The Tigers with a 33 to nothing lead will have another first state bank and trust kickoff coming up right after this. Welcome to the world of ITMs at Focus Bank. It's a drive up without the tube. Speak with live interactive tellers, all from the convenience of a traditional ATM machine. Cash checks to the penny, make deposits, and best of all, you get to select the denominations. Stop by and experience the convenience and friendly service of a live teller at our new ITM machines at Focus Bank. Focus Bank, delivering experience, service, and technology since 1931. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. If it matters to you, it matters to us here at Tri-State Motors in Blytheville, Arkansas. And if it's time to trade in or buy outright, it's time to see Tri-State, where you'll find an exceptional inventory of late model cars, pickups, and SUVs. We've got 20, 21, and 22 pre-owned models, most with plenty of factory warranty. If you have a job and can make a good down payment, you may qualify for bank financing. We have the selection, so come see us at Tri-State Motors, 1800 South Division in Blytheville. Remember, all roads lead to Tri-State. State Motors. Welcome back to Hopke Field once again as the Tigers are set for a first state bank and trust kickoff. Leading this one 33 to nothing. 808 left to go here in the first half. The heat definitely a factor here in this ball game as we've seen a couple of players down on the field. There's the whistle. Tiger set to kick it off as the green wave set to receive. Crothers set to kick it away. Kicks it end over end. This time it is caught around the 12 yard line. Going to bring it up the left sideline this time. Green wave trying to make something happen. He will go out of bounds at the, looks like the 38 yard line of the Tigers. As that was, Dientes Dobbins with the return, a big return for the Malden Green Wave. They will start over in Tiger territory. First and 10 at the Green Wave 38. Eight minutes to go here in the first half. Our first state bank and trust half.
halftime show coming up. Halfway point as they are halftime sponsor this season. Fifteen seconds on the play clock as the Green Wave come up on the line this time. First and ten. Actually, they're going to spot it at the Tiger 46-yard line. Looks like where he stepped out of bounds. Dobbins goes in motion. Farmer going to pitch it to him. So he tries to take it around the right side. Now he'll bring it up the field. He has feet brought out from under him on the tackle by the Tigers. A good stop there by the Tigers. I think that was Abion Moten on the stop. Couldn't tell who it was for a minute. Loss of maybe one on the play. There's a player coming off the field. That is Rivera coming off the field. Lost the one on the play, so second and 11 for the Greenway. Farmer back to pass, now having to get rid of it. And we're going to have some pass interference there as Alexander was going for the ball and collided with the receiver. So the flag does come out. That will move the chains for the Green Wave. I think we knew that one was coming out as soon as it happened. So they'll march it off. Be 15 yards on the penalty. Definitely more more than enough for the first down. They will walk it up to the Tiger 31-yard line. 15 yards on a penalty. Does move the chains. First and 10 for the Greenway. Farmer once again pressured in the backfield and having to get rid of it. Greenway, first and 10. From the Tigers, 31. Farmer back to pass again, is pressured in the backfield. Tries to get rid of it and does. It's caught at the 30 yard line. Now a side step and then brought down from behind at the 20. As that is, see who that is? Trenna's Lane with the catch. Caught around the, or got to the 20 yard line. Pick up of 11 on the catch, on the connection there. But again, a farmer pressured in the backfield. Tigers have gotten in the backfield all day, or all night, on the Malton Green Wave. But it is first and 10 for the Green Wave from the 20 yard line. Farmer sent it three to the right, one to the left, one in the backfield. Again, pressure. Now fires it on the right side, and it is caught, and the Green Wave into the end zone. So that is Sonny Harris on the catch. Well, the Green Wave get on the board here. 6-16 left to go in the first half. 20-yard touchdown pass from Farmer to Harris. Case okay, Kirby on. Don't know if they're going to be kicking the extra point here or Try for a two-point conversion. Personnel still coming on the field. And now trying to get... And they will try to kick the extra point. Going to have to get it away quickly here. Three seconds, two seconds. And now a flag coming out right before the snap. I believe there's too many men on the field for the Green Wave. So they'll back it up and we'll try it again. Where is Farmer? Farmer on to do the kicking. They will march the ball back all the way to I believe the 18 yard line. That will be about a 24-yard extra point 
And it will be blocked at the line of scrimmage. Kirby will pick it up. He will be stopped, and that will be the end of that play. 6-16 left to go in the first half. And the Green Wave get on the board, trailing 33-6 now against the Tigers. We'll have the Green Wave kicking it off when we come back right after this. Hey, it's fall, y'all. It's time for football, y'all. And great deals at Hubbard & Hoke Furniture. Fall into this gorgeous bed. Only $3.99. And when I'm watching sports, I like to relax in this reclining sofa, only $7.49. And if you're looking for style and comfort, there's nothing better than this gorgeous blue sofa with accent pillows, only $4.99. I'm ready for some football, y'all. And I'm ready to make some great deals at Hubbard & Hoke Furniture, Blyville, and Osceola. Good luck to the Carruthersville Tigers from Carruthersville School District 18. The team is off to another great year, and District 18 encourages everyone to cheer on and support the Tigers throughout the season. Good luck, Tigers, from Superintendent Brad Gurley, Board President Jimmy Lyons, Vice President Lee Bethune, Treasurer Chloe White, and Board Members Tom McCall, Donna Clark, Joe Cagle, Teresa Tidwell, and the faculty, employees, and students of Carruthersville School District 18. Welcome back once again to Hopke Field as the Tigers set to receive now as the Alden Green Wave on the board. Scoring a 20 yard pass from Camarius Farmer to Sonny Harris. Extra point was no good. And now the Green Wave set to kick it off here. 6 16 left to go here in the first half. Back to receive Sammy Bryant, Monte Alexander for the Tigers. And add Abion Moten into that as well. Three men back to receive. Alexander on the far side of the field as I'm looking at it from the press box. Harris in the middle. And then Abion Moten on the left side. Kickoff will go to Moten. Moten will take it. And he will take it to the left side of the field now with some blockers in front of him. Now cutting it back across the middle. Trying to get free, and he will take it all the way in. For a score, there is a flag on the field, but I believe it just fell out of a pocket. It wasn't thrown. As he came out of the official's pocket as he was running, I do not believe it is an actual flag on the field. And they're going to wave it off. No flag. That is a Tiger touchdown on the return. Did not see where he picked it up, but it was around the, I think around the 15-yard line. We'll, we'll say it was around the 15-yard line. How about that? Abion Moten, 85-yard kickoff return. And I believe we may have a timeout on the field. We actually have a player down. Some leg cramps out there for the Tigers. Actually heard 88 yards on the kickoff, so we'll, we'll go with that. 88 yards on the kickoff return. Jared Hudgens down on the field. Maybe just some leg cramps, nothing major out there. But they send them off the field to get some water. So we will keep it right here as they take a quick water break on the sidelines. Give you some score updates from other games around the area. Kennett leading Haytai 22 to nothing. Portersville leading Savannah 20 to 13. See if we have any other score updates for you possibly. Segment leading Valley 14 to nothing. East Prairie leading Charleston 14 to 8. Crystal City leading Chaffee 8 to 7. Hillsboro leading Saxton 21 to 7 as well. Tigers come back out on the field now as Greenwave out on defense for the extra point here after the touchdown. Tigers currently leading at 39 to 6. Tigers looks like they may be going for two on this play. Sammy Bryan in the backfield. Going to stack the receivers on either end of the line here. Guest will take it. He'll hand it off to Isbell. Isbell takes it right up the middle in for the two-point conversion. And it is good. 
So the Tigers take a 41-6 lead, 6.02 left to go here in the first half. We'll have the First State Bank and Trust kickoff when we come back right after this. Daylight Donuts is so much more than just delicious mouth-watering donuts. We also serve sausage rolls, Cajun pies, and a wide variety of other breakfast foods. Oh, that's not all. Daylight Donuts also has a full lunch menu. Try one of our juicy burgers, fresh pizza, barbecue, and much more. Dine in or swing through our drive through for easy and fast pickup. Daylight Donuts in Carothersville, a delightful choice for breakfast. Breakfast or lunch. Open Monday through Saturday from 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. Call ahead at 573-333-4399. Harvest more of what you grow with Case IH Axial Flow Combines. From header to spreader, Axial Flow's industry-leading innovations deliver cleaner grain from the field to the bend. Get the capacity you need with easy adjustment options to match your crop and field condition, all while minimizing potential grain loss. Add the automated efficiency of the optional AFS Harvest Command and take control of your harvest. Put your grain in the tank and your money in the bank with Axial Flow Combines. Available at Baker Implement with locations throughout southeast Missouri and northeast Arkansas. Welcome back to Hopkey Field. Tigers lead this one 41 to 6 as we have our first state bank and trust kickoff coming momentarily. Bank Ruther sets it on the tee. He'll back up. Count to make sure he's got enough on there. And the players on the field. Wait for the whistle and then we'll be ready to go. 602 left to go here in the first half. That was in motion. Kicks it away, a little short end over end kick caught at the 18 yard line, this time by Dobbins. He will kick it out around the left side and he is taken down. Straight up tackle by Jermonte Alexander around the 32 yard line. That's where Green Wave will have it first and 10. First and 10 at the 32 yard line. Farmer back in there, quarterback. Ball now spotted at the 33-yard line. As a green wave going in the huddle. Again, coming up at halftime, we have a our first day bank and trust halftime show. Look at the area scores, Tiger schedule. Look at those class assignments. As well. Farmer from Shotgun. He will kick it out to Harris on the right side. Harris will bring it up into a group of Tiger defenders. He will get across the 35 to the 36, a pickup of about three on the completion. We'll bring up second down and about seven. Green Wave come out of the huddle. Come up on the line, 515 left to go here in the first half. Players shift to different sides of the field here. Farmer from Shotgun. Now decides to run it. Now will back up and throw it. The intended target was Marius White, but he overthrew him. Over through the wide receiver by a little bit down the sideline. That'll bring up third down at about seven. Stops the clock, 4.59. Left to go here in the first half. Green wave once again in the huddle. Come out, 12 seconds left. Come up on the line. Still moving around. Finally comes set. Two seconds now, snapping the ball. Another high snap, but Farmer pulls this one down. He airs it out down the right side, and it will be intercepted by the Tigers. Avion Moten, the only one there that's able to catch it. He's going back the other way with it now with a couple of defenders in front of, or blockers in front of him, and he is brought down inside the Malton Green Wave 30-yard line. So an intercepted by Abion at Moten, turns it over to the Tigers. And a big return on that as well. And it's 29, or it's at the 29 yard line is where the ball will be spotted. 
Intercepted around the 32-yard line of the Tigers. Brought it back all the way to the Green Wave 29. That's where the Tigers have the focus bank first down. At the Green Wave 29-yard line. 15 seconds on the play clock, and don't think they're on the same page. So the Tigers will burn a timeout here with 444 left to go in the first half. So we'll take a timeout as well and be back right after this. Harvest more of what you grow with Case IH Axial Flow Combines. From header to spreader, Axial Flow's industry-leading innovations deliver cleaner grain from the field to the bend. Get the capacity you need with easy adjustment options to match your crop and field condition, all while minimizing potential grain loss. Add the automated efficiency of the optional AFS Harvest Command and take control of your harvest. Put your grain in the tank and your money in the bank with Axial Flow Combines. Available at Baker Implement with locations throughout Southeast Missouri and Northeast Arkansas. The Pemiscott County Career and Technology Center can provide the training you need for an entry-level position in today's advanced technical career fields. They'll help you get ahead with classes in automotive technology, ag building structures and construction trades, restaurant management, health occupations, industrial electronics, plus welding technology. All programs are backed by on-campus support and testing services. For information, call 359-2601 and get on the road to success with Pemiscott County Career and Technology Center. Call 359-2601. Welcome back once again to Hopke Field as the Tigers lead this one 41-6. 444 left to go in the first half. And the Tigers have a focus bank first down at the Malden Green Wave 29-yard line after a interception or big return from Abion Moten. Guess from shotgun, Sammy Bryant in the backfield. He will hand it off to Bryant. Bryant will take it right up the middle. Stripped up as he gets positive yardage. They will spot it at the 24-yard line. So we'll pick up a five for Mr. Bryant. Call it second and a long four. Bryant stays in the backfield. Gets back to pass this time. Looks across the middle of the field and will fire, and it is incomplete. Alexander, the intended target, and we have a flag coming out behind it. I think we may have pass interference on that play. Waiting for the official call here. It will be pass interference against the Malden Green Wave, so that will move it forward. Ball was spotted at the 24-yard line initially. Should move it up inside the 10, and we should have a first and goal situation, so it will be a focus bank first down for the Tigers. Looking to see where the ball is officially spotted because you never know. Okay, ball is spotted at the 16 yard line. So, here's the first down for the Tigers. This time Isabel in motion. Now he will put on the brakes in reverse course. Still on his feet, bobbing and weaving through some defenders, and he will be brought down inside the 10. A nice run by Cam Isbell on the jet sweep there. So he gets to the 9-yard line. 7-yard pickup for Cam. Second down and about 3 from the 9-yard line for the Tigers here. Have a chance to get a fresh set of downs if they need them. First legs in the backfield, Jackson Napier. Bryant back there as well. Alexander goes in motion. It's going to be Bryant on the handoff. He's going to go straight up the middle behind the blocker in front of him, which is Napier. And he will be in for another Tiger touchdown. Sammy Bryant in from nine yards out. So give him six more points as Sammy Bryant's having a phenomenal game already for the Tigers. Tigers, I believe we're going for two on this play. Same formation as before. Low snap. Guess we'll pick it up. 
Now going to roll out to his right, and he'll be brought down. So the two-point conversion is no good. So 322 left to go here in the first half. Tigers with a 47 to 6 lead over the Green Wave. We'll have the First State Bank and Trust kickoff right after this. First State Bank and Trust is more than just products and services. We're there for you for your first paycheck, buying a home, opening a small business, starting a family, or planning to retire, and everything in between. We're the local bank you know and trust for all of your financial needs. Visit fsbtrust.com or stop by your local First State Bank and Trust to explore all of your financial options. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Welcome back at Hockey Field. Tigers lead this one 47-6 to as we will have our First State Bank and Trust kickoff coming up as the Tigers come out on the field. Brothers once again will kick it off. Sammy Bryant has carried the ball 10 times so far for the Tigers. And already has 141 yards, three touchdowns for the Tigers as well. He's had a great night already, and we're not even at halftime yet. Greenway back to receive the kickoff. Again, it looks like Dobbins and Harris back there. Ball takes a bounce. Harris picks it up off the bounce about the 14-yard line. Bring it up the field. He bounces his way through some defenders. Finally is brought down from behind near the 40-yard line. Good return by Harris on the return. Looks like he does get to the, about the 39-yard line, so a pickup of about 26 or so on the return. And that's where Malden will start first and 10 from their own 39. Farmer back to work. Seven thirty start time tonight due to the heat, and we're approaching the nine o'clock hour here. So we approach halftime. Three fourteen left to go here in the first half. Greenwave out of the huddle again, having a rush to get on the line. Three seconds now. One second, Dobbins in motion. He'll take the pitch, almost telegraphed as he is wrapped up in the backfield and brought down. Maybe a loss of one or no gain on the play. Two players down now as there's a Tiger player on the field and also Dobbins down. Dobbins grabbing the leg. I'm sure it's leg cramps as we always have leg cramp issues in these early ball games. Two players down on the field as they stretch the cramps out. I think one of our live sponsors. Remember, farmers, when it's time to arrange financing for new equipment, a crop loan, or to purchase additional acreage, contact Bank of Missouri on Highway 84 West in Carothersville for fast, confidential service and loan approval. As a community bank centered on caring for their customers and their communities, Bank of Missouri offers complete banking services for checking, savings accounts, loans of all types, and CDs that pay the highest rate around Contact Bank of Missouri at Crowsville Tiger Booster. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Both players up and off the field. And the green wave into the huddle. Second down. And about 15 or so. It was actually about a five or six yard loss on that last play by Dobbins. Farmer back to pass, fires, and it is intercepted once again by the Tigers as Abion Moten steps in front and jumps up in there and in the air and pulls it down. He's down immediately, so it will be Tigers' ball back at their own 44-yard line. Two thirty-six left to go here in the first half. Tiger offense will be back out on the field. Already with a big lead here in this one. Napier back into the ball game into the backfield. Will be the lead blocker for Sammy Bryant.
Tigers look to the sideline, steal for the play. Now coming set. Five seconds on the play clock. Two seconds. There's the snap. It will be a pitch to Bryant. Bryant behind the block by Napier. He takes it up the sideline, and he's pushed out at the Malden Greenway 40-yard line, near the 40-yard line. Or they're going to say he stepped out back at the 44-yard line. So that will be an 11-yard pickup for Sammy. And that's another focus bank first down for the Tigers. Moves the chains. They'll have it first and 10 from the Green Wave 44-yard line. Right, still in the backfield. So is Napier. Right, we'll take it again. Side steps the defender in the backfield. Now kicks it out to the left side. Cuts it back into the into the interior of the field, crosses the 30, gets out to the 28. Another big pickup for Sammy Bryant. That's about 16 yards on that pickup. That's another focus bank first down. Moves the chains. Tigers first and 10 from the green wave. 28-yard line. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Napier will check out. Cam Isabel comes back in the wide receiver position. Tigers will send two to the right, two to the left. Looks like fresh legs in the backfield. As Isabel goes in motion, he'll take it on the jet sweep. Cut it back up the field. And he is brought down near the 21-yard line. They will spot it right at the 20-yard line. And now a player down for the Malden Green Wave. Grabbing the leg. They yeah, have some cramps going on out there in the legs. It's been a nice pickup of about eight on the jet sweep. 1.23 left to go in the first half. As whistle stops with the player going down with cramps. Second and about two for the Tigers. Ball spotted on the Tiger side of the 20-yard line. In the backfield for the Tigers, Maxwell Hunter back there. Also, Jackson Napier back in there as well. It will be Guess pitching it to Hunter this time. He's going to take it around the left side. He's got some room to run. Stiff arms one defender, and he will take it all the way in, I believe, for another Tiger touchdown. As there is the signal. And the Tigers add six more to the board as Maxwell Hunter getting a feel of pay dirt out there. That was from the 18-yard line, so an 18-yard touchdown run for Maxwell Hunter out of the backfield. It looks like the Tigers will try to kick the extra point here. Thompson on to hold, Carruthers on to kick. There's the snap, there's the hold, there's the kick. And it is no good. Goes wide left, it looks like. So with 56.8 seconds left on the first half clock, Tigers lead this one 53-6. to six. We'll have the first day Bank of Trust kickoff when we come back right after this. Green Pharmacy, your community health mart pharmacy in Steele, is a sports booster and pleased to sponsor high school sports throughout Pemiscot County here on this Pollock station. Green Pharmacy has been a member of the community for over 40 years and appreciates your business. Good luck to all area teams from David Green and staff at Green Pharmacy. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. Call Green Pharmacy and Steel at 695-4533 for more information. Health Mart, taking the time to listen and care. Delicious deals for delicious meals at McDonald's. Get exclusive deals on your McDonald's favorites in the McDonald's app with contactless mobile order and convenient drive through pickup. Join My McDonald's Rewards. Earn points for free food at McDonald's. Download the app today. Your local McDonald's is proud to be part of the community and is happy to support area youth. Everyone at your local McDonald's wishes all the area teams the best of luck. Welcome back to Hobbykey Field once again as the Tigers ready for a first aid bank and trust kickoff. After an 18-yard touchdown run by Maxwell Hunter for the Tigers. Crothers will do the kicking. Greenway back to receive. Dobbins back at the five-yard line. 
A little squib kick this time as the Tigers just going to squib it. Chase Kirby picks it up and then wonders why the play is not blown dead as he just went down on one knee there. It's like, you're going to get me killed out here, guys. These guys are headed right at me here. That's where the green wave will have it. And I believe we're going to run the clock out for the rest of the first half here. Don't even know if we're going to get a play away. Ball spotted at the 37-yard line. Crew Chief will blow the whistle with 24 seconds on the scoreboard clock and more time on the play clock. Let's see if the Green Wave get a play off or if they're just going to let it run out this time. Green Wave will receive the second half or the kickoff to start the second half. Green Wave lining up. Farmer's going to get a playoff here, it looks like. Throws it across the middle of the field, and Harris, incomplete pass. That'll finish out our first half. We will go to halftime with the Tigers out front, 53-6 to over the Malden Green Wave. So we will take a break and come back with our first state bank and trust halftime show right after this. Cotton Pick and Clean is your industrial strength cleaning service, specializing in schools, hospitals, and industrial facilities in Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Arkansas. Their professional personnel can handle the big cleaning jobs in a professional manner because they are professionals. Call Thomas McAllister at 573-979-4184 or Jeff Wells at 573-820-4476 and solve those cleaning issues once and for all with Cotton Pick and Clean, a supporter of high school sports. As your District 2 Pemiscot County Commissioner, Bond Meredith is keenly aware of the importance of education, not just in the classroom, but on the athletic field as well. By participating in high school sports, our student athletes learn how to be fit, how to win, and how to practice the principles of good sportsmanship. Commissioner Bond Meredith is proud of these young people and the great job they're doing in representing their schools. Best wishes and good luck to all area teams from your District 2 Pemiscot County Commissioner, the Honorable Bond Meredith of Carothersville. Carothersville, Missouri, the home of the best in small town living, is also home to the Carothersville Tigers. And the city of Carothersville encourages you to attend all Tiger games this year. Follow the team all season long on Pollock Radio and on our Facebook Live video streams. Good luck, Tigers, from Mayor Sue Grantham, Council Members Johnny Hood, Luther Robinson, Leanne Fales, Paul Glass, J.J. Bullington, Don Grable, Jimmy Lyons, Jennifer Spence, City Clerk Takella Moten, and the employees of the city of Carothersville. As your District 149 State Representative Donnie Brown knows the value of high school sports activities and how sports help to shape our young people for the challenges of tomorrow. That's why Donnie Brown is pleased to be a broadcast sponsor of high school sports. Good luck and best wishes to all from your District 149 State Representative, the Honorable Donnie Brown, serving the citizens of New Madrid, Pemiscot, and Mississippi counties. Paid for by Citizens for Donnie Brown, Angie Kellum's treasurer. Welcome back to Hopke Field as we are at halftime. It is the time for the First State Bank and Trust halftime show here for you. As the Crowsville Tigers out to a big lead in this one to start the season, 53-6 at the halfway point. In this one as the Crowsville Tiger cheerleaders providing some halftime entertainment. Before we give way to a special ceremony honoring all first responders here tonight at the football game as they are meeting out on the field momentarily, so they will have a presentation for them as well. In the meantime, we'll look at the breakdown for each team so far on offensive stats, and we'll start with the Malden Green Wave. They did get on the board in the first half. It was a touchdown pass from Marius Farmer to Sonny Harris to get him on the board. Marius Farmer, 7-14 passing for 60 yards. He does have one touchdown, two interceptions. Also has a couple of carries for seven yards. Halliburton out of the backfield, two carries for 11 yards for the Green Wave. Marius White has one catch for 22 yards. Sonny Harris for the Green Wave, three receptions, 32 yards, and one touchdown for the Green Wave. Lane, one catch for 11 yards. And Dobbins, a couple of carries. Dobbins has been the main return man. He's had some good returns for the uh, Malden Green Wave, but Green Wave just having trouble getting the offensive going. 
or getting the offense going against the Tiger defense. Tiger defense has been in the backfield all night, stopping them for short gains or losses on the runs, getting some pressure and a lot of pressure on Q Farmer, the quarterback, causing him to rush out of the pocket, either tuck the ball and run or look for an open man, try to get an incomplete pass to prevent the loss or something like that. So the Tigers have been working the offense or the deep the defensive line getting in there against the Malden Green Wave offense. We will take another break here at the half halfway point, and then we'll look at the breakdown for the Crowsville Tigers. Because again, they're off to a big start here in the 2023 season with a 53 to six lead over the Green Wave. We will take another break, come back, look at the breakdown for the Tigers on offense right after this. High school sports can be a lot of fun and involved a lot of hard work by countless folks to field a team every week. Arcosa Marine Inc. knows this, and that's why they take pride in calling attention to the team efforts of the players, coaches, and fans in Pima Scott County. Arcosa Marine encourages you to support your favorite team when possible by attending all games, both home and away. Good luck and best wishes for a successful season to all area schools from the team at Arcosa Marine Products in Carothersville. Hill Electric and HVAC has been serving Pemiscot and adjoining counties for many years and is proud to offer the complete line of train heating and air conditioning products for home and commercial use. Hill Electric and HVAC is also your dealer of Generac generators for those times when the power goes off with the service and parts to keep everything running smoothly. It's Hill Electric and HVAC, a Carruthersville Tiger booster. Good luck Tigers from Hill Electric and HVAC, 1501 Ward Avenue in Carruthersville, 333-4364. At Carmack Shell and Convenience Store, convenience is more than just a catchy word. It's what they're all about. Carmack never closes and is always open with convenience items including hot foods, sandwiches, and grocery items, plus a complete stock of beverages. Carmack is just off the interstate and is your source for shell gas and diesel fuel. Never mind the time of day or night, because Carmack Shell and Convenience Store is always open and conveniently located right off I-55 at exit 1. Look for the giant American flag. Carmack, one of your high school sports boosters. The Pemiscot County Sheriff's Department is a strong supporter of high school sports in Pemiscot County and wishes everyone a very successful season. Sheriff Tommy Greenwell knows that promoting high school sports, teamwork, and good citizenship helps in making our community safer and more enjoyable places to live, work, and raise a family. Good luck to all high school athletes throughout Pemiscot County from Sheriff Tommy Greenwell and the Pemiscot County Sheriff's Department. With school starting, most kids are due for vaccines prior to entering kindergarten, the 8th grade, and 12th grade. If you're unsure whether your child has received the necessary immunizations, call the Pemiscot County Health Center at 359-1656 for a records review. Children as young as age 6 months and up may be due immunizations, so if you're not sure about your child, check with the Pemiscot County Health Center on East Reed Street in Hayti. Flu vaccines will be available starting October 2nd. Welcome back once again. We're at the halfway point here at Hopke Field in this one as the Tigers a big lead, 53-6 to over the Malden Green Wave here in the first game for both teams here in the 2023 season. Looking at the breakdown for the Crowsville Tigers, Ryan Guest, quarterback, two of two passing, does have one touchdown. That touchdown pass was two. That was to Abion Moten. Abion Moten, one reception for 13 yards and a touchdown. He also has three carries for 62 yards. He also has an 88-yard kickoff return. That is a beyond moting for you. Sammy Bryant, 12 carries. He's been the main workhorse for the Tigers out of the backfield. 12 carries, 168 yards. Does have two touchdowns for the Tigers. Maxwell Hunter, one carry out of the backfield for 18 yards and a touchdown. Demonte Alexander has a 50-yard punt return touchdown. Also three carries for 44 yards and a touchdown for the Tigers. And rounding out the offense, Cam Isabel, three carries, 25 yards for the Tigers as well. Again, the Tiger offense has been clicking as they've been moving the ball well. Big plays. Um, not really much else to say other than that as they have been marching down the field quite consistently, even after coughing up some yards on some penalties. Turn around and get them right back. I think three consecutive plays a while ago, three touchdowns. First two brought back on penalties against the Tigers, but finally they put it in there on the third try with no flags on the field. 
And you can see it on the board, 53-6 to six the lead for the Tigers. Twelve and a half minutes to go here at halftime as did honor the first responders for the fire department and the police department here at the football game. So we want to give them a shout out and a special thanks to them as well from Pollock Broadcasting and KCRV. Also from myself as a member of the, of the city council here in Crothersville, we definitely appreciative of our first responders, not only for the city of Crothersville, but also our county first responders and surrounding areas. It's we're always working together, mutual aid calls and things of that nature. So we appreciate every one of you, no matter where you're at. If you're a first responder, we appreciate every single one of you for filling that role and sacrificing yourself at times to make sure that others are safe. So thank you very much. We'll take another break here at halftime. Come back and we'll look at some scores from around the area, look at the Tigers schedule, and also we will look at those Look at those class, or excuse me, those class assignments in District 1 throughout Southeast Missouri. As there are a lot of changes in the District 1 and classes 1 through 6, and we'll talk about those here at the halfway point. Stay with us. We'll be back right after this. Welcome to the world of ITMs at Focus Bank. It's a drive up without the tube. Speak with live interactive tellers, all from the convenience of a traditional ATM machine. Cash checks to the penny, make deposits, and best of all, you get to select the denominations. Stop by and experience the convenience and friendly service of a live teller at our new ITM machines at Focus Bank. Focus Bank, delivering experience, service, and technology since 1931. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. If it matters to you, it matters to us here at Tri-State Motors in Blytheville, Arkansas. And if it's time to trade in or buy outright, it's time to see Tri-State, where you'll find an exceptional inventory of late model cars, pickups, and SUVs. We've got 20, 21, and 22 pre-owned models, most with plenty of factory warranty. If you have a job and can make a good down payment, you may qualify for bank financing. We have the selection, so come see us at Tri-State Motors, 1800 South Division in Blytheville. Remember, all roads lead to Tri-State. State Motors. Hey, it's fall, y'all. It's time for football, y'all. And great deals at Hubbard and Hoke Furniture. Fall into this gorgeous bed. Only $3.99. And when I'm watching sports, I like to relax in this reclining sofa. Only $7.49. And if you're looking for style and comfort, there's nothing better than this gorgeous blue sofa with accent pillows. Only $4.99. I'm ready for some football, y'all. And I'm ready to make some great deals at Hubbard & Hoke Furniture, Blyville, and Osceola. Good luck to the Carruthersville Tigers from Carruthersville School District 18. The team is off to another great year, and District 18 encourages everyone to cheer on and support the Tigers throughout the season. Good luck, Tigers, from Superintendent Brad Gurley, Board President Jimmy Lyons, Vice President Lee Bethune, Treasurer Chloe White, and Board Members Tom McCall, Donna Clark, Joe Cagle, Teresa Tidwell, and the faculty, employees, and students of Carruthersville School District 18. Welcome back once again to Hopke Field as we are still at halftime. Nine minutes and 15 seconds left on the halftime clock, so plenty of time to look at scores from around the area, and then like I said, we'll look at those district assignments before we go to our next break. How about that? Scores from around the area. Kennett leading Haytai now, 28 to nothing. Um... One major league score for you. Phillies over the Cardinals, 7-2. Looking for some other scores. Last we saw, Portersville was leading Savannah, 20-13. to Let's see if we can find some other scores from around the area. Sekman now leading Valley, 34 to nothing. East Prairie leading Charleston at the half, 20-8. to Crystal City leading Chaffee, 30-7. to Hillsborough leading Saxton, 35-14. to That looks to be... The other scores from around the area that we can see here. Now we'll switch over and look at those District 1 assignments in Class 1 through 6. So now in Class 1, District 1, teams in that district will be Ash Grove, which was formerly in Class 1, District 3, as well as Kabul. Kabul, actually, let's run through them, and then we'll tell you the ones that were in Class 1, District 3, because a lot moved over to Class 1, District 1. So the ones that remain were Charleston, Haytai, and Portageville in Class 1, District 1. Newcomers are Ashgrove, Kabul, Marionville, Miller, Pierce City, and Thayer, all moving from Class 1, District 3 over to Class 1, District 1. In Class 2, District 1, the ones that were there last year, New Madrid County Central, East Prairie, and Kelly. Newcomers for Class 2, District 1, three from Class 1, District 1, Carruthersville, 
Malden and Scott City moving from Class 1 to Class 2. And Valley Catholic moving down from Class 3 to Class 2. In Class 3, Central Park Hills, Dexter, Fredericktown, Kennett, and St. Jen remain the same. Newcomers are Donovan coming from Class 2, District 3, and Herculaneum coming from Class 3, District 2. In Class 4, District 1, mostly the same, DeSoto, Festus, Hillsboro, North County, Perryville, and Sykeston. Potosi moving from Class 3 to Class 4. In Class 5, Cape Central, Fox, Melville, Poplar Bluff, and Webster Groves are there once again. And newcomers are Farmington from Class 4, District 1, and St. Mary's Southside Catholic from Class 4, District 2. And in Class 6, District 1, Lindbergh and Northwest Cedar Hill also segment in Class 6, and Jackson and Oakville moving from Class 5 to Class 6 in District 1. So a lot of changes this year. Those class assignments coming out this morning, actually, today. So these teams not knowing what class they were in until they got ready to play their first game today. But there you have it. So Crothersville, of course, and Walden both, actually, moving from Class 1 District 1 to Class 2 District 1. So two Class 2 District 1 teams battling it out here tonight. 6.15 left to go here at halftime. Tigers lead this one 53-6. We'll take a look at the Tigers' schedule, and then we'll take one more halftime break. Come back with the second half here in a little bit. First, let's thank a couple of our live sponsors. How about that? Faulkner Auto Sales, one of our great broadcast sponsors, family-owned and operated, located at 603 North Truman Boulevard in Crothersville. Before you buy, see Faulkner Auto Sales, 333-3800. Also, Prescription Drug Store at 410 Ward Avenue in Crothersville. Independent Pharmacy serving the area since 1967. That's a long time, folks. Open Monday through Friday, 9 to 6, and Saturday, 9 to 1. They have a handy drive through window. They're also online. Go to rx.com. Look for Prescription Drug Store. Prescription Drug Store for all your prescription and over-the-counter medications. Crothersville Tigers schedule this season. Of course, tonight we're playing Malden. Next week, we'll be on the road traveling to Park Hills Central, taking on the Rebels. That next Friday night, again, that's about a two-hour and 45-minute drive straight through, so be sure you plan accordingly for that ball game if you plan to attend. If not, you can watch the live stream or catch it on the radio right here where you're listening right now. On September 8th, we will be back here at Hopke Field. Donovan will be in town taking on the Dons on the 15th of September. First of three consecutive road games will be at Kennett. On the 22nd, we'll be at New Madrid County Central. And then on September 29th, we'll be at Dexter. October 5th, the Thursday, we'll be back here at home at Hopke Field taking on Charleston Blue Jays, followed by the East Prairie Eagles on October 13th. That will be our homecoming game. And then rounding out the regular season on October 20th, big game of the year, of course. That is the Battle of the Boot Hill. Haytai hey, Indians will be here at Hopke Field. Hey, Ty Indians, Crothersville Tigers, Battle of the Boot Hill 2023 edition. Then the playoffs will start on the 28th of October. So there is the Tigers schedule. Now you know all those changes in the districts, and we're about four minutes out from the second half. We'll take our final halftime break, and when we come back, we might be able to sneak one more in. We'll see. We'll see. About four minutes to go before we get the three-minute extra at the end. How about that? Anyway, we'll take another break. We'll come back with more Tiger football here at the halfway point right after this. Daylight Donuts is so much more than just delicious mouth-watering donuts. We also serve sausage rolls, Cajun pies, and a wide variety of other breakfast foods. Oh, that's not all. Daylight Donuts also has a full lunch menu. Try one of our juicy burgers, fresh pizza, barbecue, and much more. Dine in or swing through our drive through for easy and fast pickup. Daylight Donuts in Carothersville, a delightful choice for breakfast or lunch. Open Monday through Saturday from 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. Call ahead at 573-333-4399. Harvest more of what you grow with Case IH Axial Flow Combines. From header to spreader, Axial Flow's industry-leading innovations deliver cleaner grain from the field to the bend. Get the capacity you need with easy adjustment options to match your crop and field condition, all while minimizing potential grain loss. Add the automated efficiency of the optional AFS Harvest Command and take control of your harvest. Put your grain in the tank and your money in the bank with Axial Flow Combines. Available at Baker Implement with locations throughout southeast Missouri and northeast Arkansas. 
The Pemiscot County Career and Technology Center can provide the training you need for an entry-level position in today's advanced technical career fields. They'll help you get ahead with classes in automotive technology, ag building structures and construction trades, restaurant management, health occupations, industrial electronics, plus welding technology. All programs are backed by on-campus support and testing services. For information, call 359-2601 and get on the road to success with Pemiscot County Career and Technology Center. Call 359-2601. First State Bank and Trust is more than just products and services. We're there for you for your first paycheck, buying a home, opening a small business, starting a family, or planning to retire, and everything in between. We're the local bank you know and trust for all of your financial needs. Visit fsbtrust.com or stop by your local First State Bank and Trust to explore all of your financial options. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Green Pharmacy, your community Health Mart Pharmacy in Steel, is a sports booster and pleased to sponsor high school sports throughout Pemiscot County here on this Pollock Station. Green Pharmacy has been a member of the community for over 40 years and appreciates your business. Good luck to all area teams from David Green and staff at Green Pharmacy. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. Call Green Pharmacy in Steel at 695 4533 for more information. Health Mart, taking the time to listen and care. Delicious deals for delicious meals at McDonald's. Get exclusive deals on your McDonald's favorites in the McDonald's app with contactless mobile order and convenient drive through pickup. Join My McDonald's Rewards. Earn points for free food at McDonald's. Download the app today. Your local McDonald's is proud to be part of the community and is happy to support area youth. Everyone at your local McDonald's wishes all the area teams the best of luck. Cotton Pick and Clean is your industrial strength cleaning service, specializing in schools, hospitals, and industrial facilities in Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Arkansas. Their professional personnel can handle the big cleaning jobs in a professional manner because they are professionals. Call Thomas McAllister at 573-979-4184 or Jeff Wells at 573-820-4476 and solve those cleaning issues once and for all with Cotton Pick and Clean, a supporter of high school sports. As your District 2 Pemiscot County Commissioner, Bon Meredith is keenly aware of the importance of education, not just in the classroom, but on the athletic field as well. By participating in high school sports, our student athletes learn how to be fit, how to win, and how to practice the principles of good sportsmanship. Commissioner Bon Meredith is proud of these young people and the great job they're doing in representing their schools. Best wishes and good luck to all area teams from your District 2 Pemiscot County Commissioner, the Honorable Bon Meredith of Carothersville. Carothersville, Missouri, the home of the best in small town living, is also home to the Carothersville Tigers. And the city of Carothersville encourages you to attend all Tiger games this year. Follow the team all season long on Pollock Radio and on our Facebook Live video streams. Good luck, Tigers, from Mayor Sue Grantham, Council Members Johnny Hood, Luther Robinson, Leanne Fales, Paul Glass, J.J. Bullington, Don Grable, Jimmy Lyons, Jennifer Spence, City Clerk Takella Moten, and the employees of the city of Carothersville. Welcome back to Hopke Field. We are still at halftime here. We do want to thank First State Bank and Trust for sponsoring our halftime show this season. We'll hear more and see more from them as we go throughout the broadcast. We're about two minutes and 20 seconds out from officially starting our second half, so we're going to take one more break. When we come back, we'll start the second half in this one with the Tigers out front, 53-6, so stay with us. We'll be back right after this. As your District 149 State Representative, Donnie Brown knows the value of high school sports activities and how sports help to shape our young people for the challenges of tomorrow. That's why Donnie Brown is pleased to be a broadcast sponsor of high school sports. Good luck and best wishes to all from your District 149 State Representative, the Honorable Donnie Brown, serving the citizens of New Madrid, Pemiscot, and Mississippi counties. Paid for by Citizens for Donnie Brown, Angie Kellum's treasurer. High school sports can be a lot of fun and involved a lot of hard work by countless folks to field a team every week. Arcosa Marine Inc. knows this and that's why they take pride in calling attention to the team efforts of the players, coaches, and fans in Pemiscot County. 
Arcosa Marine encourages you to support your favorite team when possible by attending all games, both home and away. Good luck and best wishes for a successful season to all area schools from the team at Arcosa Marine Products in Carothersville. Hill Electric and HVAC has been serving Pemiscot and adjoining counties for many years and is proud to offer the complete line of train heating and air conditioning products for home and commercial use. Hill Electric and HVAC is also your dealer of Generac generators for those times when the power goes off. With the service and parts to keep everything running smoothly, it's Hill Electric and HVAC, a Carruthersville Tiger booster. Good luck Tigers from Hill Electric and HVAC, 1501 Ward Avenue in Carruthersville, 333-4364. Welcome back once again to Hopkey Field as we get ready to start the second half. Thank one of our last sponsors, Bank of Missouri. So farmers, when it's time to arrange financing for new equipment, a crop loan, or to purchase additional acreage, contact the Bank of Missouri on Highway 84 West in Carruthersville. They will provide fast, confidential service for your loan approval. As a community bank centered on caring for their customers and their communities, Bank of Missouri offers complete banking services. So for checking, savings, accounts, loans of all types, CDs that pay the highest rate around, contact Bank of Missouri. A Crowsville Tiger Booster, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Tigers will kick off to start the second half. <clears throat> so we will have a First State Bank and Trust kickoff for you once again. There we have it if you're watching our live stream. Brother sets it up on the tee. Gets ready to kick it off here to the Malden Green Wave. Back to receive this time around will be Quentin Kilgore and Curtis Lane. There's the whistle. Brothers checks with everybody. He goes in motion and kicks it away. And the ball drops and just stalls in the grass. Kilgore picks it up after he'd come to a complete rest. He does get out around the 40-yard line. Or he's brought down. It's out to the 39-yard line. Does appear we will have a running clock here in the second half as the official signal to get the clock going. But the Green Wave will take over first and 10 from their own 39-yard line. So they huddle up out on the field. One of the Tiger players went down with some leg cramps at the end of that play. He came off the field. Farmer from Shotgun. Ten seconds on the play clock here. Is everybody set? He's going to keep it himself. Now we're going to have a flag coming out. And we're going to have offsides on the Tigers is what they're signaling. That'll move it for five. Spotted at the 44-yard line now. First and five. Second and five now as Farmer brings around the left side. And he will be tripped up near the sidelines. He gets enough for the first down and then some as he is in Tiger territory. Ball will be spotted at the, they're going to spot it at the Tiger 45-yard line. So, Farmer, a pretty good pickup there. Give him about 11 on the carry. It'll be first and 10 for... The Malden Green Wave, ball spotted at the 45-yard line. A high snap, goes over the head of Farmer. He didn't even call for it, and now the running back goes to pick it up, and it is pops loose, and the Tigers will come up with it. Tigers will recover. That is Treshawn Mays picking up the fumble. Farmer didn't even call for the snap, and the center shot it over his head. The running back tried to go recover it, but popped out when he tried to fall on it. 
Mays there to recover. Tigers do have the football at the 29-yard line is where they will spot it. So that's where they will have a focus bank first down after the fumble. First and 10 from the Malden 29-yard line. Things just not going Malden's way tonight. <clears throat> Jared Hudgens in at quarterback now. In the backfield he is Rodgers. No, that's not Rodgers. That is Hudgens on the keeper on the far side. He'll be out near first down. That was a great fake. It looked like he handed it off to Hunter, but he tucked it and ran it out around the left side. He down to the 19-yard line. That will be enough to move the chains. That is another focus bank first down, it looks like. Jared Hudgens with the carry. Ten yards exactly. Clock running here, 7.55 and counting. And we have a player down on the field for some leg cramps. So the both teams headed to the sideline. That does stop the clock at 7.50. And the crew chief now says keep it going. Keep it running. Looks like it's Jared Hudgens down on the field. Just just some leg cramps. Nothing major out there. It's, I think that's Coach G out there trying to stretch out the leg muscles, get that cramp worked out. Nope. Check that. Looks like Coach Middleton maybe. Coach G down here at the far end of the field. Hudgens back up. He'll make his way off the field for a couple of plays as Ryan Guest will come back in. Take the snap. Get on the road next week. We'll be at Park Hill Central. That is what way up north. I say way up north. Two hours and 45 minutes worth up north. So if you can't make that trip or if you have other plans, because it is right at the beginning of Labor Day weekend there, be sure to tune us in either on the live stream or the radio. First and 10 from the 19-yard line, and we're going to have Offsides on the Tigers. We're going to wave that off as the ball is not actually set yet. And it's going to be a jet sweep this time to Trey Thompson. Thompson taking it up the left sideline. He's knocked out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. Looks like he got down around the 5-yard line. Good pickup for Thompson of about 14. He took a hard shot going out of bounds over there. That is enough to move the chain, so that's another focus bank first down and another player down on the far side. It's the reason for the running clock here. We want to get this one over with, get these players off the field, so no more injuries. Already had multiple players go down for heat exhaustion out here, mainly on the green wave. Haven't seen any of the Tiger players go off the field. Ball spotted at the five-yard line. That's where the first and goal is for the Tigers. Guess is waiting for the crew chief to uh, signal the play. There it is. Jet sweep. This time going back to the right side. Cuts up the field. And it's going to be stopped before he can get into the end zone. Might be no gain on the play. Ball carrier was Josiah Lockridge. On the stop, Marius White. Might have gained a yard on the play. So that is Lockridge. Four forty and counting here in the third quarter. Tigers lead this one 53 to 6. Second and goal from the four. Gonna be a pitch to Isabel now or a jet sweep to Isabel. He's gonna try to swing around the left side and cut it up field. He will not. He's gonna lose about two yards on the play as he's pushed out of bounds. 
Maybe a yard. Looks like he got pushed out at the five. About every play now, we have a player going down for some leg cramps. So we approach four minutes to go here in the third. Players back up relatively quickly, so it's like we're okay. We'll be third down and goal from the five-yard line this time. Napier back in the ball game as Isabel is going to check out. Kilgore will check out of the ball game for the Green Wave. Plenty of time for this play. Tigers come set. 15 seconds left on the play clock here. Hunter in the backfield. Guest from shotgun. Napier to his right. There it is. The handoff goes to Hunter. Hunter's going to take it right up the middle. Spin move. And it looks like they're going to say he was down before he got into the end zone. Right at the goal line. So give him four on the carry. And it will bring up fourth and goal. Fourth and short, about a half yard looks like. Not even a full yard. So we approach three minutes to go here in the third. Just trying to finish this one out. No more injuries on the field. Yes, we'll hand it off this time to Napier, I believe, and he gets in for the short gain and the touchdown. That is Jackson Napier getting in for the touchdown. Tigers add to their score as Jackson gets in. One-yard touchdown run. Doesn't matter how far out it is as long as you hit pay dirt, right? Trey Thompson on to kick this extra point here. 220 and counting here in the third. Guess to hold. There's the snap. It's down. The kick is up. And it is good for Trey Thompson. 60 to 6 is the lead for the Tigers as they will kick it off after we come back from the break. We'll be back right after this. At Carmack Shell and Convenience Store, convenience is more than just a catchy word. It's what they're all about. Carmack never closes and is always open with convenience items including hot foods, sandwiches, and grocery items, plus a complete stock of beverages. Carmack is just off the interstate and is your source for shell gas and diesel fuel. Never mind the time of day or night, because Carmack Shell and Convenience Store is always open and conveniently located right off I-55 at exit 1. Look for the giant American flag. Carmack, one of your high school sports boosters. The Pemiscot County Sheriff's Department is a strong supporter of high school sports in Pemiscot County and wishes everyone a very successful season. Sheriff Tommy Greenwell knows that promoting high school sports, teamwork, and good citizenship helps in making our community safer and more enjoyable places to live, work, and raise a family. Good luck to all high school athletes throughout Pemiscot County from Sheriff Tommy Greenwell and the Pemiscot County Sheriff's Department. Welcome back as we get ready for another First State Bank and Trust kickoff after a one-yard touchdown run from Jackson Napier. Tigers lead it 60-6 to over the Mullen Green Wave. Crothers will kick it off. Clock is running here in the second half, usually reserved for the fourth quarter, but running the whole second half here. We're going to kick this one off with about 30 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Good end over end kick. Caught by Farmer around the 12-yard line. He'll bring it up the left side. Was looking for a blocker. Now we'll cut it back. Now he will be wrapped up and brought down. No, he spins away once again. Now wrapped up and brought down around the 32-yard line. Team still fighting to the end here. A lot of players going down now with the leg cramps. And that's going to be it for the third quarter. We will go to the fourth frame. With the Tigers out front, 60-6 to six over the Malden Green Wave. We will take a break, come back with the final quarter in this one right after this. With school starting, most kids are due for vaccines prior to entering kindergarten, the 8th grade, and 12th grade. 
If you're unsure whether your child has received the necessary immunizations, call the Pemiscot County Health Center at 359-1656 for a records review. Children as young as age six months and up may be due immunizations, so if you're not sure about your child, check with the Pemiscot County Health Center on East Reed Street in Hayti. Flu vaccines will be available starting October 2nd. Welcome to the world of ITMs at Focus Bank. It's a drive up without the tube. Speak with live interactive tellers, all from the convenience of a traditional ATM machine. Cash checks to the penny, make deposits, and best of all, you get to select the denominations. Stop by and experience the convenience and friendly service of a live teller at our new ITM machines at Focus Bank. Focus Bank, delivering experience, service, and technology since 1931. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Welcome back to Hopkey Field. Fourth quarter, Tigers lead this one 60-6. to six. And some score updates for you. Kennett leading Hayti 35 to nothing. Seckman leading Valley 34 to seven. East Prairie leading Charleston 20 to eight, last we saw there. Crystal City leading Chaffee 38 to seven. Scott City leading Dexter 14 to 12. And St. Vincent leading Thayer six to nothing. Hillsboro leading Sykeston 42 to 14. Last score update we had there. Tigers ready to kick it off. Waiting on the Greenway to come out there. Or excuse me, not kick it off. Uh, Tigers out on the field ready to go. So many kickoffs in this football game. I got a little confused there for a second. Green wave coming out on the field now. All spotted at the 33 yard line. As the green wave will take over on offense here after the kick return. Here being their quarterback this time, Halliburton will take the pitch. He's got a lot of run room in front of him. Now trying to get around the defender. He's tripped up at the 40. Nice tackle there by the Tigers. That is Keiston Clowers on the tackle. But a good pickup by Halliburton. Ball will be spotted at the 43-yard line, it looks like. So a pickup of about 10 on the play. That is a first down for Malden Green Wave. Here we're getting the play from the sideline. He will take it to the huddle. Ten seconds on the play clock. They're coming out of the huddle. They're going to have to hurry him get on the line and get this play off. Halliburton to his left this time as they come set. And it will be another pitch to Halliburton. He's hitting the backfield, but he squirts his way free. A couple of stiff arms, and now he's into Tiger territory. He's still on his feet near the 30. Now near the 26-yard line, he's brought down by the Tigers. Move the chains. First and 10 for the Mullen Green Wave. At the Tiger 27-yard line. That was a huge pickup of about 29 for Halliburton on that play. 10-45 and counting here in the ballgame. <clears throat> that is Jonah Halliburton, according to the roster. Gibby once again from shotgun. Halliburton to his left. Plenty of time on the clock this time. Kirby will keep it himself this time as he takes it around the left side. Turns on the Jets. He is brought down inside the 20. Good pick up there by Kirby on the keeper. I apologize if I pronounce the name wrong. Kirby about nine on that carry. We'll bring up second and about one. Greenway once again in the huddle. Coming out now, 15 seconds on the play clock. 9.40 and counting in the ball game. Tigers a big lead here, 60-6 to six over the Greenway. Just trying to finish things out here. One second on the play clock, low snap. Kirby will now pitch it to Halliburton. He is stopped right at the line of scrimmage and brought down. Maybe a loss on the play. They will say no gain, it looks like. We'll bring down third down. 
Third and short once again. We may have a timeout taken by the Green Wave. Either it's a timeout or we have a water break. Not sure, but we'll take a quick timeout as well and be back right after this. If it matters to you, it matters to us here at Tri-State Motors in Blytheville, Arkansas. And if it's time to trade in or buy outright, it's time to see Tri-State, where you'll find an exceptional inventory of late model cars, pickups, and SUVs. We've got 20, 21, and 22 pre-owned models, most with plenty of factory warranty. If you have a job and can make a good down payment, you may qualify for bank financing. We have the selection, so come see us at Tri-State Motors, 1800 South Division in Blytheville. Remember, all roads lead to Tri-State Motors. Welcome back once again to Hopke Field. Is crowd enjoying some pump-up music here during the break. Both teams still in the huddles on the sidelines. Score updates for you. Savannah now leading Portageville 21-20. And that game played out in southwest Missouri at Ozark, Missouri, I believe. Other score updates. I'll give you those at the end of the ball game. Both teams back out on the field. Ready for a third and short here. Third and a long one for the ball in Green Wave. Kirby with Halliburton to his right. Those have receivers left and right. Now going to look for the end zone, and this one is knocked away by the Tigers. Almost with an interception was Marion Rodgers, but he does knock it away, so goes incomplete. <clears throat> and it's going to be fourth and short now. The green way. Seven minutes, ten seconds to go in the ball game. Kirby will run back out with the play in hand. Pass it off to the rest of his teammates. Again, we'll be on the road next week, traveling to Park Hills, take on the Rebels. Back home after that, taking on Donovan, right back here at Hopkey Field in two weeks. From shotgun, Kirby back to pass. Now rolling out, now going to fire toward the end zone, and it is knocked away. Incomplete pass, that'll turn it over on downs once again to the Tigers. Had a chance there. Tigers will have it first and 10 now, going back the other way. From the 29, or excuse me, the 19 yard line. As Tigers take over, that will be a Focus Bank first down. Thanks to our sponsors making it possible to bring you Tiger football this season. Can't do it without your support. We thank you, the fans, for tuning in, the ones that couldn't quite make it to the game. I'll be 100% honest. I don't blame you on a night like tonight. 90 degrees at game time with heat index above 100. And we've seen some effects of that as a few players from on the Green Wave experiencing some heat exhaustion-related symptoms. Tigers first and 10 from the 19. 540 and counting to go in the ball game. Hudgens at quarterback. And we're going to have offsides on the Tigers. This looks like the wide receiver lined up on the 20-yard line instead of the 19. That'll back it up five. Main first down, first and 15 now, back at the 14-yard line. Take an extended break at the conclusion of regulation and total up our stats for the evening here. Handoff to the right side and going to be a loss on the play. Actually, no gain, maybe. See where they spot it. They will spot it at the 12 yard line, a loss of two on the play. Missed who the ball carrier was. I think it might have been Rodgers in the backfield. Now second down at about 17, it looks like. Have to get to the 29-yard line for the first down. Yeah, you're right. you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I was waiting until the players get set. 
And now a handoff in the backfield. Green Wave wrap it up immediately. Going to be a loss on the play. Back to the 10-yard line, a loss of about two more. So now third and long, third and about 19 for the Tigers. Less than four minutes to go on the clock that is running here at Hopke Field. And at quarterback is Demarion Rodgers. Has one back in the backfield. Rodgers will roll out. And the pass intended for Josiah Lockridge goes incomplete. That'll bring up fourth and long. Fourth and 19 now on this play. Four to 19 for the Tigers. Three minutes to go in the ball game. Rodgers in there, quarterback once again. Waiting for everyone to get set. Three seconds on the play clock. Now we'll step back with a little quick kick punt here. And it will be smothered by Malden Green Wave at the 47-yard line. That's where the Green Wave will start off. First and 10 on this drive. Two minutes and 20 seconds now and counting here left in the ball game. Chase Kirby will be back out there at quarterback. Portsville leading Savannah 28-21. First and 10 for the Malden Green Wave. Spotted at the Tiger 47 yard line. Here we were waiting, waiting, waiting. We got an official timeout apparently, or no, actually we're gonna have a timeout taken by the Malden Green Wave. 127 left to go in the ball game. Keep it right here. Tell you that whether it's balls and strikes, fouls, or flags, your referees and game officials are a vital part of high school athletics. If you've ever tried your hand at officiating, you know how hard these men and women work, and you certainly know they would never miss a call intentionally. Keep these things in mind as you attend sporting events. After all, respecting officials and authority figures is one of the most valuable lessons that we can teach our students. This message is brought to you by your friends here at Public Broadcasting and the Missouri State High School Activities Association. Looking at the upcoming games for the Tigers. Again, next week we'll be on the road. September 1st, we'll be at Park Hills. Then on September 8th, we'll be back here at Hopke Field taking on Donovan. Three games on the road after that, 15th through the 29th, at Kennett, at New Madrid County Central, at Dexter. Then in October, October 5th, a Thursday night game. We'll take on the Charleston Blue Jays. The 13th of October, that'll be homecoming for the Tigers. We'll take on East Prairie here at Hopke Field. Round out the regular season here at home. Battle the Boot Hill. Hey, Ty Indians will be in town October 20th, the date of that matchup. Kirby back to pass here. Now rolling out. He throws it, and it is caught by the wide receiver somehow. And he will be out of bounds. And now gets up and shoves one of the other players. They're going to separate him. No flag thrown here. As that is Amarius White on the catch. Now, why will be out of this ball game? Less than a minute to go here in this one. They will spot the ball at the 35-yard line. So a 12-yard pickup on that completion from Kirby to Marius White. 
is first and 10 for the Malden Green Wave. 30 seconds to go in the ball game now. Ball to 35-yard line. Kirby will pitch it to Halliburton. Halliburton around the left side, and he will be wrapped up right down near the 26-yard line. Good tackle there by the Tigers. That was Chasman Thomas on the tackle. And that will be our final play of the ball game, it looks like, as Halliburton picks up about eight on that carry. And the clock hits zero. So the Tigers win this one as we go final. 60 to 6 the final score. Tigers over the Green Waves. We'll take an extended break here at the conclusion of the ball game. Total up all the stats, come back and tell you those and be back. Hey, it's fall, y'all. It's time for football, y'all. And great deals at Hubbard and Hoke Furniture fall into this gorgeous bed. Only $3.99. And when I'm watching sports, I like to relax in this reclining sofa. Only $7.49. And if you're looking for style and comfort, there's nothing better than this gorgeous blue sofa with accent pillows. Only $4.99. I'm ready for some football, y'all. And I'm ready to make some great deals. At Hubbard & Hoke Furniture, Blyville and Osceola. Good luck to the Carruthersville Tigers from Carruthersville School District 18. The team is off to another great year, and District 18 encourages everyone to cheer on and support the Tigers throughout the season. Good luck, Tigers, from Superintendent Brad Gurley, Board President Jimmy Lyons, Vice President Lee Bethune, Treasurer Chloe White, and Board Members Tom McCall, Donna Clark, Joe Cagle, Teresa Tidwell, and the faculty, employees, and students of Carruthersville School District 18. Daylight Donuts is so much more than just delicious mouth-watering donuts. We also serve sausage rolls, Cajun pies, and a wide variety of other breakfast foods. Oh, that's not all. Daylight Donuts also has a full lunch menu. Try one of our juicy burgers, fresh pizza, barbecue, and much more. Dine in or swing through our drive through for easy and fast pickup. Daylight Donuts in Carruthersville, a delightful choice for breakfast or lunch. Open Monday through Saturday from 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. Call ahead at 573-333-4399. Harvest more of what you grow with Case IH Axial Flow Combines. From header to spreader, Axial Flow's industry-leading innovations deliver cleaner grain from the field to the bend. Get the capacity you need with easy adjustment options to match your crop and field condition, all while minimizing potential grain loss. Add the automated efficiency of the optional AFS Harvest Command and take control of your harvest. Put your grain in the tank and your money in the bank with Axial Flow Combines. Available at Baker Implement with locations throughout southeast Missouri and northeast East Arkansas. And welcome back once again as we go final. The Tigers over the Malden Green Wave, 60-6, to six, the final score in this one. Before we go to look at our stats, let's look at our other scores that we had. Final up, or The last updates we had, that is. Porterville over Savannah, 28-21. Not sure where that game is at. Probably still going on as, it got a, as the game started a little bit later than ours. Ours is a 7.30 start. That one an 8 o'clock start. Kennett was leading Hate Tie 35 to nothing. Last score update we had in that one. Some other scores for you from around southeast Missouri. Segment leading Valley 34 to 7. Last score update there. All these are last score update. Don't know if they're final or not. East Prairie was leading Charleston 20 to 8. Scott City leading Dexter 14 to 12. Crystal City leading Chaffee 38 to 7. St. Vincent leading Thayer 6 to nothing. And Hillsboro leading Saxton 42-14. The last updates we had in other scores in southeast Missouri that we could see. Again, we are final here. 60 to 6. Monty Lyon just texted me and said that the Portersville game is in the fourth quarter. Portersville leading Savannah 28 21 in that one. Thanks, Monty. Appreciate that as he's been updating us on those scores uh, all night. Also said, Kennett just starting second half, I believe. They were leading 35 to nothing in that one. Last score update we had. So those games going to be going on for a little bit longer as so we got a little earlier start, some of those other games. Now on to the, our matchup here, looking at the offensive totals for both teams for the Malden Green Wave. Uh, Farmer finished 7-14 passing, 60 yards in the game. Did have a touchdown and two interceptions. Also a couple carries for 18 yards on the ground. Kirby had one pass completion for 12 yards. Halliburton, six carries, 68 yards for the Green Wave. Marius White, two receptions for 34 yards. Sonny Harris, three catches, 32 yards, and a touchdown 
for the green wave for the Crothersville Tigers. Ryan Guest, two of two passing, did have a touchdown. Sammy Bryan out of the backfield, 168 yards on 12 carries, two touchdowns. Maxwell Hunter out of the backfield, one carry for 22 yards and a touchdown. Monte Alexander had three carries, 44 yards, a touchdown. Also had a 50-yard punt return for a touchdown. Ebion Moten, one catch for 13 yards and a touchdown. Also had three carries for 62 yards and a touch. Or no, excuse me, no touchdowns on the ground for Moten, but he did have an 88-yard kickoff return for a touchdown for the Tigers. Cam Isabel with three carries for 24 yards, and Trey Thompson a carry for 14 yards for the Tigers. So the Tigers. In this first game on a good note, 60-6 to six win over the Malden Green Wave. We will travel to Park Hill Central next week. Be a long road trip and a tough opponent. Park Hill Central finished 11-2 last year and came away with a victory here at Hopke Field last year against the Tigers. But we'll be back on the air with you next Friday night, September 1st at Park Hills. And we'll have the live video stream and audio stream on the radio for you right here on Classic Hits 105.1 KCRV, streaming on our Facebook page, 1370 KCRV Radio Facebook page, and KCRV Live on YouTube. Thanks to all of our sponsors, making it possible to bring you Tiger football this season. Thanks to Ryan McDaniels for running our camera controls. Monty Lyons on the board back at the station, making us sound better than I actually do. He does wonders with that thing. Also, Tad Jones on the tech side as well. Paul Glass for Pollock Broadcasting. Thanks to you, the fans, for tuning in. We will see you next week as we take on Park Hill Central. Until then, have a good night, safe weekend, and a blessed week. This has been Carothersville Tiger Football. Our broadcast sponsors for tonight's game include First State Bank and Trust, the City of Carothersville, Carmack Shell and Convenience Store, the Carothersville School District, the Pemiscot County Special School District, Green Pharmacy, the Pemiscot County Sheriff's Department, Hill Electric, District 2 County Commissioner Vaughn Meredith, Tri-State Motors, Cotton Pick and Clean, Citizens for Dottie Brown, the Pemiscot County Health Department, Daylight Donuts, Arcosa Marine, Focus Bank, Hubbard and Hulk Furniture, Baker Implement Company, and McDonald's. Audio sponsors include Faulkner Auto Sales, Prescription Drug Store, and the Bank of Missouri. This broadcast has been a production of Pollock Broadcasting Company.